I've done some epic before in my days. <laughs> oh, wait, whoa, whoa, we don't get copyright oh. strike. Nah, the, what nah, the hell? Nah, what we shut him down. What nah, nah, what nah, what nah, what nah, 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 there's a meteor what? hitting what? the so earth. And it stopped. And I feel like we're in that fucking. We're dead. Leonardo that DiCaprio was crazy. Movie. Hold on, I gotta. I'm gonna restart. Whoa, no. Uh, v Mix. That's wild. Oh like, my Natalie, god. Natalie, Natalie, we me are. We're, no, keep the keep the recording going. This is insane. This is the most insane intro I've ever lived on the intros of intros. Oh, I like this. You you just spoke about how you did acid. Miles told this is an acid trip right now. You're not even here. It's a cipher. It's a cipher. <laughs> acid on college tours. <laughs> yeah. What? We're battle rapping. Guys, welcome to Doped Up and Dying, this Sunday morning SMO show. I'm Dylan J. Negri, your host. Sitting next to me is DC Williams. Boop, 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 you're done already. Eh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're I'm coming out kidding. strong. You're coming out strong. I like it. Just like Drake. <laughs> sitting across from me is Papa Sanchez, the man himself, Kevin Sanchez. Yo, I'm out here. I'm in there like swimwear, and I was busting nuts all morning. Hell yeah. Just jerking off. I bust stupid yeah. dog. Uh, <laughs> I was jerking off. All day. I'm just chilling. Just chilling. Three times today. I, yo, when I, what when, a wild way to start. When you called me, that we were both just way. laying in bed. Now I don't like that. Oh, no, no. no. Three uh, times, bro? Three times, bro. That's minimum. Minimum? Y'all niggas is That means after me and Kevin come, we both have a thought of like, let me call each other. Call <laughs> each other. <laughs> How are you doing? That you means you guys each other, though. That's, that's like a good homie moment, yeah. but at the same time, didn't want to know that. Didn't want to find that out well, today. But, hey, bud. Just found that now out. Now you know how much I love you, bro. Cheers. You bought in... Uh, I brought in multiple wines today. Why? Multiple wines. Is it because you came so much? You it's because I... a woman? Yes, because there's energy back no, yeah. I have no cum left. Well, you know what it is? I, when I... When I... I am a woman today, and I'll tell you why. Because uh, whenever I smoke weed and I come, it's like a female oh. orgasm. What I think a female what? orgasm is. How do you know this? I don't know. I'm just assuming. Because you feel like you're cold. <laughs> I don't know. Make assumptions. Wait, yeah. wait, Natalie, yeah. Natalie. It's like, I, it's like I, I have like a uterus now or whatever. Like wow. I grow a uterus when I come. Can I? Wait, wait cause you say it's like a female. Natalie. There's fucking a lot of white women. You have, have you had an uh, orgasm? Um, No. You know that I don't Never? I'm oh. just kidding. All of you can <laughs> suck my dick. Yes. But wait. Whoa. Me and Kevin are going to volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, no. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Have you tried black? <laughs> Dominican? Yeah. No, I switched to I was woman. black adjacent. Oh, I switched nice. to woman. Well, that's why. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, um, but I don't smoke weed, so I can't say that's that. That's what I was going to say. Is, is this is weird same. because we have a confirmed. Yeah, but if she smokes weed and orgasms, it'll be 10 times Whatever orgasm she's having. Yeah, but know this that. is like 18 but you year old just, science. How do you know that? I just know I'm doing pseudo bro science, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. bro I don't, I'm bro science out here, bro. This is like when you use a like uh, the word in the definition. Like you can't say like weed is like an orgasm. Yeah. How do you how do you feel that? Well, you have an orgasm and you smoke some weed. Yeah. And it feels like an orgasm. It feels ten times. No, no, no. Better. I'm saying it's gonna feel ten times better than a normal. It does. Orgasm. You ever jerked off on cocaine? I, I, I've only oh, done cocaine no. around It's a four-hour process, but it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> For some That's people. Jerking yeah. off on cocaine is like punching it's a wall and only hitting studs. Yeah, just bang, bang, bang. Just every Ooh. time. Just yeah. Every time you go to like go punch through the, the wall, hit another stud. And by that time, she's gone. Can I ask you guys a question? <laughs> I'm embarrassed to ask uh, other uh, Wait. people who've done coke. Um I'm embarrassed to ask this because, like, this girl put coke around my mouth. Yeah, that means you're and gay. I, I huh? That. that means you're gay now. I that. Dude, I, that. I was so worried about yeah, that. Dude, just you gotta like, go on just, actually, I'd be very happy if I was gay right now. <laughs> I'd be super ecstatic. <laughs> if, uh, if what? If I was gay right now, sugar daddy's all day. Wait. You can I'm find a sugar you mama way, home, bro. I'm telling you. sugar daddy worthy? Huh? <laughs> you think you're sugar daddy worthy? <laughs> can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Tell me. Yes. Yes, I am. I admire the confidence. 100%, I'm sugar daddy worthy. Why do you say this? Because I know. Look at me. I'm a Dominican I mean, you're, cute. you're kind of a bro. bear. You're kind of a bear. I'm you a got bear. That bear. I'm a bigger guy. Community. What yeah. kind of guy would you go for? Pause. Oh, like, I, as a gay, my. Uh, Waspy, I get white hot dude. girls now. Yeah, so you think right? I'm a hot guy? <laughs> so I'm thinking hot as Scott. Okay. Because dudes are easy, bro. Yeah, but sugar daddies, so that's a monster. They're even value, easier. Though. They're even easier. What's my, your monster? My brother, my brother, hold on. My brother, yeah. who is gay, mm -hmm. has sugar daddies. Really? And let me tell you something right now. What? They just want you to smack them up, spit in their mouth, and like. Throw away their medications to get die sooner. <laughs> they're not. They're they they hate that themselves. You know, we release this podcast on Sunday mornings, and we call ourselves the Sunday Morning Smoke Show. I've been debating very much for a long time of switching it to 11 p.m. because we we, we, we we've been starting show. off strong on yeah, every yeah. time. I, I love this group. I love us. Yeah. I love us. Uh -huh. Hopi and Anthony who? I just believe. <laughs> I just think 11 a.m. might be a little bit too early for too this. Too early squad. for this. This is a nice 11 a.m. vibe. 
dating is it sugar though? daddy and throwing out medications so they die? That feels like a Sunday morning. <laughs> That's a Sunday morning vibe. It's just, and guys, it's like called, a, a the show's pre-church. called Doped Up and Dying. True. The Sunday morning that smoke is show. It's like a true. pre-church show. We're, we are going to get crazy. And guys, that <laughs> voice you hear. Like, turn on Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, that voice you hear, we haven't introduced him yet. That's Miles Toe. Toe. Let's Hi. give it up for Miles we Toe, y'all. Just the intro. Hi. This shit is so nah, easy. No, no, that's what I love. I like when we do shit like that. Like we just get into it, and then we're gonna introduce our guest. Miles Toe is a dude that I I've seen. I'm seeing coming I'm up. My we're coming up together. What, oh yeah, what is your pronoun? It's Zem. 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 So uh, <laughs> like Invader wait, Zem. Wait, I can't call you. I can't call you dude. If you, you identify as a Zem, you call me Mister Dude. dude. You know what I just realized, Kevin? Yeah. What's up? You know I just realized. So we have a we have an interesting fo- um, fan base of uh, whether it's younger New York comedians or people. You know, obviously in the United States. You know, a lot of it's like younger comics. What I'm trying to yeah. get to. Um, Miles might be our first guest that's going to cause us problems. Really? You think wow. so? No, 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 no. I'm 27 now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm good boy Miles. I, good boy Miles. <laughs> Listen, you Miles, Miles Cruel makes me feel young. <clears throat> Like the, the, the click you guys have, yeah. like we all have clicks, Straight. right? Yeah. Lunchroom vibes. Yo, lunchroom okay. vibes as hell. Vibes. You it's guys back, make back me the feel people. so old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I say young? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant old. Yeah. When, I was, when, I'm a, when I'm with Miles, young, yeah. I'm like, oh, I got to go home now. <laughs> they, they're too reckless. I'm going to go to jail tonight. Well, because comedy got soft, man. It, it is soft. Can you I tell you, speaking of lunchroom vibes, we're sitting outside of the Grizzly Pear. I come out from doing a show, and it's in this, and we're in a circle out there. They're eating. Chicken wings, throwing the bones on the floor. <laughs> that that a white guy gave us, he found in the back of a cab. Did not know that. <laughs> they were secondhand cab wings. <laughs> that third everyone, hand. That everyone third hand. hand. At that point. So wow. I didn't partake. Let okay, that be but the, so now they're in a circle, bones in the middle, like you're praying to the bones. And That's you know, you know the you know this crew. It's like they they th- they, they throw shots all day, all it's day, all fucking day, right? Yeah. To like strangers. And, and that's so what, like, so that's what I'm getting to. It is even funnier because it's like, like this is crazy. It'll be it'll be involved. five. Like last time I was with them, collateral was like damage. <laughs> five of us walking five, down the six, block. Seven, five, six, even. seven of us, and it was a white girl at the show, and we were just mocking her the whole time down the block. That sounds like and it was an empty block. Like it wasn't like safe for her. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But. It's what it but, is. That's what happens when you come to one of our comedy shows. We harass you <laughs> yeah. afterwards. How dare no, you walk on the same block as me? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's it, it's so funny to watching. Like this circle is because people don't understand. They don't hear what we're saying. Mm-hmm. They hear. They feel the energy. They hear yeah. the laughter. What they don't hear is the. What they don't see is the one person who's like, kind of just eating it and laughing along because they just said some fuck shit. Of course, like a swing, like a verbal swing. So girls. People always drunk, especially on that it, street. It's always you're talking about McDougal, right? McDougal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, when you're McDougal, on the Dougals. Yes. When you're walking the Dougals. This is what I used to say when I was a kid. When you're walking yeah, the Dougals. Yeah. They'll be junkies. Is he still a kid? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> when you're 14? walking the Dougals. <laughs> watching this, watching them eviscerate everyone that comes into it. At one point, I'm not going to say who, but at one point. He's flaming somebody. Uh-huh. And Miles out loud goes, you know, with my luck, this person's like a booker or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said, I literally, I was that like, is, is this someone I shouldn't <laughs> talk about because I'm going to get canceled for this? Exactly. And he didn't word say no, word. so I was like, all right, it's no, 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 no. season. It's not that I didn't say no. It's me and Miles are like this, that person's right there, and I'm looking at Miles trying to make one of those, like, lunchroom eye contacts <laughs> of, like... <laughs> She's right behind you. And I'm thinking like, oh, Dylan's like, well, go faster. Like, no, no, keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it more. I'm like, yeah, I got you, Dylan. I'm going to do something horrible. No, no, no. Double no, down. No. Double down. I got I, you, buddy. I, I do want to say Did this. Did you say double down? <laughs> I, I do want to say this. Miles, you want to, when I see you, I, I don't get to see you often because we're like in different worlds sometimes. But I do love yeah. seeing you whenever I'm at a mic or like when I'm yeah, at a show. True. It's fun to see you. It's always a fun and time. I can't wait it's to not see just you. I'm happy black, but to see what yeah. you're working I'm on happy. and shit. Yeah, it's always fun to see you. I'm <laughs> happy you uh, brought it to that because I honestly want to want to talk about that. I feel like Miles is a guest that we had because like, we always have a lot of you know, whether it's fun guests, guests we meet recently. Right. Miles is somebody we've all known for a while. At least like I've been in comedy for four years. Miles, I think I've known you. I mean, we tried all a month four ago, years, but he was. You said you had. I remember you were working or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like I was beating a prostitute though. to death. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's work. What are you going to do? I mean, it's a Martin Luther King but did time to time. Okay. When I made the joke that um, Miles might be our most problematic guest, I'm joking, but as I want to say is, Miles is a, how long have you been doing comedy? Uh, three and a half years now. Three really? and a half years. Can I tell you something? I've we're, turned, I'm telling you, I think we, we're, we're so close. For a while. 
But I'm saying I've known you longer though. Yeah, I've known you longer. But I'm saying the amount of time we've both been doing comedy, I think, is dead on. Like, like, because I'm like coming up on four years. Yeah. So it's like that's interesting. When you, where'd you start doing comedy? I mean, where? Like, you're from New York. I'm from Baltimore, bro. Baltimore originally. You start there? No, I started in North Carolina, Asheville. Why? How? So wait, did you guys not watch my documentary? What the fuck? <laughs> oh shit, we didn't do no homework. No homework. Wait, 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 wait. You have no. a documentary? Oh. Actually, there's a documentary about like, I know because yeah, be comedy filming. that I'm in, but it's not mostly about me. Oh, uh, oh recently yeah. came out comedy during Corona. Check it out. Was that okay. my man? Uh, uh Marty? Yeah, Marty Drummond. Marty Drummond, one of the most talented artistic, prolific dudes. man's He's ever. A prolific dude, dude man. Seriously. I love really Mr. Funny. Drummond, man. He says that Morgan Freeman has talk. I, I, I don't know if you guys realize, DC unplugged his mic and has been too scared to ask for help, and has just been sitting no, here I to a dead mic going like. Came out. You know, I, I agree with Marty. Yeah, Marty's a great dude. But my I saw like Marty like two years ago. It wasn't the same. Saw him a couple years later, and he was fucking hilarious. Yeah. Dude. Very like, funny. Like, but Very always, funny always so, funny though. Let me tell you something. His stuff online. If you look at Marty Drummond, he's fucking yeah. batshit crazy. Explain yeah, who Marty yeah, Drummond yeah, yeah. is for people who don't might not know. He's a black piece of shit comic. <laughs> <laughs> he's a deadbeat father and an alcoholic. <laughs> so why you, do I want to watch this Cheers, documentary? Marty. Love you, because, Marty. Because <laughs> why do I want to watch this? Because because it makes you feel better as a person. Oh, because you're like. No, but honestly. Oh, and you're in this documentary. I'm in a documentary, but oh, Marty, he uh, narrates it. It's his project. He oh, brought the cool. guy with us. You know what's so funny? The guy came to my rooftop for a mic, mm -hmm. and Marty's like, yo, I got this fucking filmographer. He wants to film me. I was That's like, so yo, fuck dope. this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Can you look up filmographer? <laughs> Is that a word? <laughs> and then when I saw a documentary, I was like, I'm mad. I'm not in it more. He was like, yeah, I brought it to my rooftop. You didn't say anything to him. And I was like, all right, well, <laughs> live and you learn. <laughs> so, Dylan, I'm 27 now, okay? I'm good boy, Miles. <laughs> Where'd you grow up? Don't worry about that. <laughs> no, I grew up in Baltimore. Uh, you moved here for comedy? No, so I went to Baltimore. Then to Asheville. Carolina. Asheville. No, I went to Boone, North Carolina for school, and I drove 45 minutes every single week to go to this mic in Asheville. How was that mic in Asheville? Because those got to be some characters. It's great. It Honestly, was great. There's comics in New York that know the people I know in Asheville. Uh, Fucking phenomenal comics. But they never leave Asheville. That's the problem. But they're that's, so good. That's crazy. It's like parts of my family now have moved to Asheville. They've like been close really? to Asheville. I swear to God. All right, we related. That's crazy. Uh, are we out there? We, we connected. Uh, I was going to... Uh, that's wanna, two uh, points what, for Dylan. We connected. What about you, Kev? <laughs> um, we got I did, the Dominican so, thing, but what uh, else? You're Dominican? No. <laughs> <laughs> never. Why would I do that to myself? <laughs> what made you move parents. to New York? Uh, Comedy. Yeah. Yeah. Comedy. 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 I say like Mark Norman. Comedy. Comedy. Hey, I'm Kevin Hart now. Oh. <laughs> um, like, what'd you do? I hate with, myself like, for that. <laughs> <laughs> you should hate yourself. I do. <laughs> it's a, it was a mild impression. It it was, was, yeah, wow. Yeah. How would you explain your first year in comedy? Uh, it was great. Uh, my first time I did comedy, right? So I had, a, I had a girl that I was seeing, and we got into a really, really big argument. And she goes, You know what? Fuck you. Because she knew I wanted to do comedy. She was like, Fuck you. You're never going to do comedy. You're going to be a fucking grocery store worker. Because I worked at a grocery store. It was mm -hmm. rude. You know what I'm saying? That's so me. she was right. Because she was right. It was rude. She was How old are you? How old are you? I was like 20. 20 years old. Yeah. I'm a grocery store worker. In the dairy department, too. You know how cold it is in there? Jesus Christ. You know. yeah, For is. a black man? Yeah, I was going to say it's insane. Dude. What are you? What is your blood type? Anemic? Uh, Negro. <laughs> no. So the same thing? Yeah, in positive. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know what the blood type was. That was not black jokes right there. <laughs> <laughs> that was for DC. That was just for DC. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know what's happening. Uh, uh, black people are uh, always cold. Yeah, yeah, me and Natalie have just been sitting here going like, oh, uh, I think they're, they're, they feel funny. <laughs> yeah. the whole thing I'm just going to smile and wait. Shorts in the winter, that's like a white guy thing. For sure. Flip-flops and shit. Yeah, flip-flops when it's winter time. So, so, she, I remember so she, she tells you you're not going to do comedy. You're she, bitch. She yells at me and she's like, yo, fuck you. You never do comedy. You're not funny. And I was like, bet. And I was drunk. I was at a bar. Got in my car, allegedly, and drove 45 minutes to Bourne, North Carolina. Alleged in his own story, allegedly. <laughs> Just in case. Open cases. Just in case. I don't drug drive, allegedly. Yeah. Here's the thing, right? Allegedly. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm drunk. I get there. I'm like 45 minutes late. They put me up dead last, and I was an English major, and I had wrote this poem called Jerking Off in My Girlfriend's House. Wow. And I said it on stage, and it killed. And I was the kind of comic that I had literally printed out a piece of paper, and I would throw it. Like an asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they loved it. They are like, oh, keep doing it. Do more of this throwing out paper shit. Now, now were they saying <laughs> This is in New York. It. No, this is in Asheville, this is in Asheville, Asheville North Carolina. Carolina. So now, are they saying keep doing it? Do you realize that they're, are they being cunty about it, or are they like legit happy you're doing this? At, I think they thought I was more... Like, Seasoned? Yes. Uh, it was so a confidence. Like, it was a confidence. Yeah. It was just the way you walked up there and you're like, no, no, no. Like, this guy's been doing this for a while. The first time you do anything, you either wing it and you're like, oh, it worked out or it yeah, never works yeah. out at all. Yeah. And it just kind of worked out. I watched out. a dude one time go up and um, he's a Boston, actually, Boston comic, Sam Ike. Hilarious. But the first time I saw him, he goes up, he goes, you guys want to hear a joke about this? You guys want to hear a joke about that? And at the first time I hear it, I was like, I hate that. Right. But the third time he did it, though, 
you kind of see he's just fucking with you. He goes, they would spit out an answer. He goes, no. And like the way he would do it every time, it was like fresh and new. Each answer it would be different. Getting funny. You're like, okay, this, guy like, oh, has like, this guy's an yeah. asshole. But it'd be funny. He's like, oh no, that was my first. Yeah. Set. Then like, the second what? time you see him, like, oh no, no, that was bad. <laughs> that was horrible. You should write more. <laughs> it gets worse with every sure. watch. Yeah. Like, oh my God. <laughs> so that was your first set. First time. And they were like, yo, bro, that was so funny. Do you time, have the poem still? No, I, I looked for it. Oh, it yeah, ro- so- bro, I was a good English major. I was in the poetry class. Can, can you class. think of some of it right they now? had a rhyme scheme. It was like, it was so artsy. It was like sitting here beneath the sun, um, looking at my girlfriend's buns, <laughs> bought to pull my dick out fast, and I'm going to nut quick on her ass. Something like that yeah. Like was like the hits. <laughs> and it was like how I felt about it. It was like emotional, but yeah. people loved it. Like, oh, this is comedy. And I was like, no, this is hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did jerk off in her house. You should have used the Allegedly. phrase busting guts in that, in that fucking poem. That would have been good. If I had black friends at the time, I would. <laughs> <laughs> no one explained that to me. Did, wait, when did you start having black friends? In New York City. <laughs> no really? way. Dead serious. I, oh, man, I can, you act so natural around yeah. black people. I know. I, Usually yeah. I'm scared. I can gotta tell. But like, <laughs> I hold my wall. Like, guys, what's going on? Oh, this makes more sense to because I was like, you can tell, oh, this right? kid is brave. You seem like you hung out with skater white kids, but there was a black kid around. You know what you're saying? I was. Well, he's the black kid that's around. Bro, you remember the jerk movement? Yes. How the creator of Future? You're a jerk. Who do you think I was hanging out with? Guys, guys. guys. I was the I cameraman. <laughs> filming the guys skating and filming them jerking. Dude, I was the kid with the red skinny jeans, Swear to God, yes. I was the kid with the red skinny jeans, And the swag hat and the fucking odd, you used to wear the odd Future shirt with the upside down cross. All that shit. Yes. Bro, DC, what are you saying? Guys, I don't, I don't think you understand. I don't. If me and Miles knew each other in middle school, we'd be friends. It would, it would be best friends. friends. It would be best friends. We'd be best I friends. Was the, I would go to the skate park with oh. me and my friend Eric, yep. and who's a rapper now, shout out Eric, and would just grab the camera, yep. and that's all we wanted you have to, to do. hold it loaded, get yeah. the wheels. Get it, dude, dude don't get all. my body. Get the wheels. <laughs> I know this shit. I know, I know white culture. It's how it was, I know bro. white culture. I'm an expert at white culture. <laughs> so, Miles, um, I, as I said, as I brought it before, I just I want to I want to talk about it. If you don't want to talk about it, we don't have to. Let's talk about what happened. Because I I, I actually kind of forget almost. I want I want you to remind me because you're not a problematic person no, at I'm all. A sweet young boy. You're a sweet sweet boy. He's obnoxious. What happened? Damn. It was over pan <laughs> over pandemic. Yeah. Uh, comics were coming after you. Yeah. About what again? I shot this girl. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she deserved it. No, here's what happened. Uh, you want to actually honest I, story? Just uh, remind me because I feel like it'll come to me in a second. You want the whole story? Yeah. So uh, this is. Uh, I want the Miles Toast story. That's why. That's that's why we're here, baby. We boy. Had that's why we're dying. Dying. Sunday morning smoke the show. Bible, the Miles Toast confessional. First of all, call my lawyer. Okay, <laughs> I want him here. Okay, want my lawyer. I've been low. Okay, anything I say is controversial, just be like, he does not mean that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got okay. you, I got you, I got you. All right, so this is me defending myself. I'm we taking want this stand. stricken from the records. Amen. Oh, wait, you don't say amen in court, do you? No, no, you don't say amen in court. Listen, uh, I just want to preface this. Your honor? Young, uh, comedy over pandemic at one point made a, 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 a chat, uh, not a group chat, but a group on Facebook. Yes. Where every comic, whether they're a month in or a fan kind of, or just a, a weirdo, yeah. to like actual comedians mm-hmm. are in there just throwing around all in the same and from different high states school. too different st- yeah different states start joining yeah. different states comedy page? yes because yes. people coming to new york or like planning to go to new york uh, so they start joining to like yes. now, it's gone to a point dude where um i actually, i even saw someone uh, a crazy finish the, thought, finish the thought first you're the best <laughs> you're the best it's my lawyer that's my it's my best friend <laughs> nice best friend and lawyer this is, this is why this is why it's so hard it's that's so like a cbs show, show. but <laughs> he's a best friend and lawyer <laughs> also he's dominican <laughs> <laughs> best friend lawyer and dominican <laughs> um, <laughs> your theme song. but that group chat like not group sorry that group on facebook i don't say it's toxic but it's a weird world where like there's a lot of positivity, this but it's also gay, like, it, it's just like, that's it's a bad, a, I was a, trying to get more but he's elegant with it. I know, I know. You're right. Right. But guess what? Egos. Guys, 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 it's pretty gay. It's it, no, it's, oh. a, it's a cataclysm of ego. Not the good That's what it is. No, no, no. Yeah, hey, Natalie, yeah. Natalie. Yeah. Not like Sam Smith. Gay. It's a bunch of people who, who like Are want to be a gatekeeper. Yes. Yes. That's what it is. Very self righteous. Yeah. But I just want to preface that because there's just some people in there who, not want to say shouldn't be doing comedy, but are like, they, they do like one we can't mic say that. a month. We, yeah, sure, but we can't say that no more. Well, I can right. say that. Fuck them. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Some of y'all shouldn't be doing comedy. That's true. That's and, true. A, and a bunch of people got that. mad at Miles about what? This is what happened, allegedly, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's a word of the day, allegedly, right? <laughs> so what happened was um, I had caught COVID, right? And I was in another group chat of just the comic friends that I knew, right? And we had some people who were like, I didn't know weren't our actual friends, right? So I got COVID, and then I got at the penthouse. Remember the penthouse? Yes. There's a, a mic and a show used to run there, and then I caught it there, right? So I waited like 
10 days, right? And then I, I got a test. And I get that this girl I was with, I got her a test too, because I was fucking her. And she came back clean. And she's like, just stay one more day. And I was like, cool. So I got the test on that day. It came back positive, right? But I also quarantined for 10 days. I hit the group chat. I was like, yo, bro, I was inside for 10 days. The last day is here. I got a test today. It came up positive. Should I go out? They were like, no. So I waited another day. I got another girl tested. Fine, right? Something for AIDS, like, right? I'm just no, no, no. There, get yourself checked for AIDS. No. <laughs> but then everything was COVID. COVID. All for COVID. Yeah. So I was like, I spent 11 days inside, which was the, the word you're supposed to do. I, was, I had the test. That day it came up positive, but I already had quarantine for 10 days. So I was like, I'm going to go outside, right? Went outside. That guy had leaked that group chat message to all these comedian people. They were like, yo, watch out for Miles. He has COVID. And I was like, he's purposely spreading COVID on stage, right? So they, so they never heard that I quarantined for the 10 days that were supposed to happen. And no, I was fine. What's his comic's name, bro? I'm not saying it. Can why you, are you... Why, so, I want to smack the shit out of him, bro. I'm not going to say it. Le- for legal reasons, he's not... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm your lawyer. You can't say his name. <laughs> you're, ter- you're the worst <laughs> lawyer ever. <laughs> hey, hey, worst Jesus. lawyer ever. Guys, guys, worst lawyer ever. <laughs> I'm Dominic. Pretty good best friend, though. <laughs> I can oh, let you yeah. guess his race. <laughs> Uh, I know it's white. No, um, no, no, no. White or Jason? Half black, half white, maybe Asian. What? Oh, I don't know. I know nothing about the story. I, I didn't say. Anything. I'm just good out. Wait, why were you in a group chat with this person? So we have a we have a group chat for everything. I mean, I have a group chat for like filming. I have a group chat for like Awful. comedy sketches. Open mics. How many people do you do in this group chat? So in, during that time, it was like 50, and then it wow. cut down to like 25, and now it's at like 10. That's too much. 50, 50 people in a group much. chat with this guy. Can you imagine? Oh, it was just sending them out. How fucking just honestly, group I, chat with guys. To be bullshit. honest, I mean, listen, I, it's a funny angle. I'm more just jealous than anything. We, I was with these fucks all quarantine. I'm just. I almost got canceled too, but it was for other reasons. You know, I just asked a lovely trans couple how they have sex, and that was too much for a comedian that was at the mic. Were well, they were both trans? As your lawyer, one of them. As your yeah, lawyer, yeah, yeah. one of and them was a guy got married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just he he brought it up, and then I just asked them. About as your it. lawyer, you I'm gonna need you to stop talking. I was. I said, um, <laughs> oh, he said, this is my wife. I just recently or whatever, and I was like, oh, so like, uh, how do you guys fuck? You yeah. know what I mean? And then he answered me, and we were back and forth riffing. I'm just hosting a little bit, right. and. Um, it was all good. Everything mm-hmm. was good. Did the show. And then apparently it wasn't all good after that. Because then I was calling me, man, what did you say to these people, man? She said they were really upset. Her friends were offended and all this oh, shit. Oh, yeah. If you, again, and this is where it goes back to that. He's probably at bottom then. Back to that Facebook. <laughs> that's why he's upset. If he was top of it, I don't know what was upsetting about it. Like, but it's like back to that Facebook group of like, yeah. oh. you have one little thing. That Facebook group could be like, hey, this person is uh, an X on their back. Yeah, but you, did you see part two? No, the For part you? yeah, the part two is what so, got me. So okay, the part one was that they're mad at me. The part two mm. was what got me. What happened? The part two was you this is the part where this doc. This is new. I'm sorry that I I was joking before. I think the Miles Toad documentary rules. It's gonna mm. come one day. <laughs> Hopefully, it ends with my overdose. <laughs> right. All right. So the part two is this. We're at Combody. I can say that right. Combody. It's yeah. a show in the city. We're out front. So this is the part that got me off because everyone was like mad about the COVID shit and they were like whatever. And I, I was outside this. uh this place, right? And there's an Asian restaurant. So this is right at the height of the Asian, the Taekwondo Asian, you know, Godzilla thing, whatever. And so, like, <laughs> this thing is stupid. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it. <laughs> I just thought it out loud. I have, I have mental. Guys, illness. he's a shooter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, never mind. Uh, so the, we're outside this restaurant, right? And we're just doing what we do, just hanging, just talking, whatever. The circle of doom. The circle of doom. Berating each other. But so the thing, we're loud and we're black. And this Asian guy is, is the manager. He's watching and he comes outside. He looks at us. We all look at him, and he closes the door. And we don't say anything. We're like, well, that was weird. And he comes, back, he comes out again. He's like, hey, what are you guys up to? And we're like, nothing. We're just hanging. Yeah. And then he locks the door, right? Mm-hmm. And then I made a joke. I was like, what, well, are you going to call the police and say there's seven niggas outside? <laughs> Everyone starts laughing. And there's a dude from L.A. All he did was take a video of that portion. Asian manager, us laughing. And they singled me out. Oh. So it looks like in the video, we're I just remember- making fun no, of the manager. No, 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 yeah. No. I remember, I remember this. this. this video. Yeah. I remember it from By a very way, different, from a de- very different angle. Because they, they, the way they were presented. Can I switch? Yeah. Can I tell you? It looks like that. Can I tell you how crazy perspective is? Insanity is. Look, hey, uh, I want you to see. Like this is miles in the you video. Don't know science. Like, don't do this. <laughs> Listen, do no, no, no. Just say it. <laughs> this look. It's doing a fucking science. This is miles. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is an eighth of weed. If you turn it this way, it's a fucking gram. Shut up, Dylan. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's four to Miles, you were the only face in that entire video. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm trying to say. 
there's everyone's behind you laughing like this, and, my face and you just see right there, Miles big, confidently gum standing, Miles. and he's the only body in the just entire a dark shot. worm right in the middle, <laughs> <laughs> just, just doubling down to him, whatever Yo, you're doing. Yo, let me ask you a question. Hold up. He only got you. What did he get you saying? In the video. No, no, there's no words. It's just laughed. It's a so boomerang. Doesn't... It's a fucking boomerang. Nah, you is. got almost oh. canceled so, before you were anything in this right. thing. So let's just imagine well, if she were, ma- were making jokes. Canceled. Can you imagine getting canceled for this? That's what it is. It's like, imagine she, we're, we're talking, <laughs> but we point this way, right? Yeah. From a boomerang, it looks like we were just making fun of her. Yeah. That's all they saw. Oh, oh so from that point of view, it's, it's like, ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Asian, Asian, whoa. Asian, Asian, whoa. <laughs> But what they don't see is, that hurt. Yeah, they don't see that the hurt. Asian bitches Ow. that he be fucking sometimes. Yes, yes. He brought one yes. to a comedy show I saw in Brooklyn. I remember, he doesn't hate Asian people. I rem- <laughs> I, I, and I, I said this to you. The fact, he um, reveres though. That yeah. can't, but that's also not a good excuse though. <laughs> I have a black friend. It's like, no, nigga, you're racist. <laughs> yes, <laughs> no, I think there's a difference between saying I got a black friend and, and, and an saying, and saying I fuck black Dude, guys. I don't hate any race individual. I hate all of you the same. Yeah. yeah no I'm matter what you are, call it out. You know what I thought about the other day? Here's a thought. Here's if, a thought. Like supremacism, <laughs> like and all that type of shit, would really be like if dudes can Thank focus on not using their dicks. Like think about it, right? Mm-hmm. Usually, dispose of war, right? You kill the men, you take the women, you take everything that the people oh, have. Yes. If, no, no, no. But look, if you like, if white people really wanted to wipe out black people, you got to also stop fucking us, though. <laughs> you, yeah. You know what I mean? Like if if supremacists were focused and not thinking with their dicks instead of. Raping the women or impregnating them and making more black people, you just eliminate men, women, and child instead of men and child. Let's fuck the chicks. Though. I see you. This is how Nick Cannon got DC. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what Nick Cannon did. Yo, I got a point. <laughs> this is, this well, is one of these on moments. Right? This is DC, can I throw a counter point your way? Go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. No. What do you mean, no? You think with your dicks, you're still. I don't know. I kind of with him on this one. They, oh once. my god! Thank That's you, Nat. never happened before. Thank you, Nat. <laughs> I will say this. I will say this. Nat is really smart. Usually, when she talks, she puts a camera on her face. For this, I'm with him. Moment. I'm like, I don't She's need like, to be uh, seen. Uh, 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 I didn't say that shit. I will say this. She's like, maybe that was a job. But you I, see what I'm saying? A great friend, Josh Pallad, <laughs> says that Jules are so smart and they do a lot more uh-huh. because a lot of them are circumcised and have less feeling on their dick. Yes. So they were just a tad bit harder than everyone else. A, That's a, a theory. Slight comment. That's, I mean, a little yeah. slight comment. To yeah. Yeah. I don't think they were having sex with them. I think they were raping. Them, no, that's what I was saying. Which is a difference. It's, whoa, it's whoa, a difference. Whoa. And rape is taking the person out of the situation. Exactly. Twenty-seven miles. You see, I've changed. <laughs> I've <laughs> well, no, but what I'm saying is that is <laughs> is okay. Miles. Fuck the. Miles. Instead of trying to weaponize your erection by raping women of another country right. and, and and colonizing the village, please talk to If you just absolutely burnt everything to the ground instead of going, but also I want to. Try some African pussy. Also, I want to go to Spain, conquer the world, but I want to try some Spanish. Yeah, but you, you, ever, I mean? you ever conquered a village? Yeah, no. no. Tired of that shit? Dude, exactly. No, it's like the entire no, no, day. Yeah, but you're you burning get, and hey, raping and pillaging. You're like, what? fuck, I want to just fuck something right That's now. what I'm saying. Take and, the edge off. And you're supposed to be in Africa stealing shit, but there's a girl walking around with no clothes on. Listen, and her ass but is here's fat. the thing, right? You're, you're, in, you're in Britain. It's cold, right? You, you're out in Africa. You got a little hey, fucking musket. You're wearing a, a, a tucked in whatever. You see some fat black ass. Bro, you're like, holy shit. He's out. Yo, hello, governor. Let's go try this out, right? Exactly. I should have let you get some bad hits. Oh, it's fucking wet, yeah. Oh, that shit's thick as fuck, yeah. She's thick it's as not fuck, like yeah. Mary Elizabeth up there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This bitch is fucking thick, man. Yeah. Bro, imagine they're you like. Why you said, do we ban this? Yeah. They're, they're tired of the cold. You but know, also, that was pussy. our savior moment because hey, one of them fell in love. That's like it was like British time. Dylan fell in love with like a Dominican chick. He's like, yo, let's not conquer them. Exactly. Even his his people. Kids. No, I claim Jewish, not white. What did what did David do? He went and got Bathsheba. He was like, I want the chick from Egypt. You know what I mean? Biblical reference that can drop it low and whatnot. David Dobrik? That's in the Bible. That, <laughs> David drop it down to the men. She can drop it she low. She can drop it low. Drop it low. Drop it low. You know, and I'm and just that's throw it back for a real if nigga yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what I'm saying is it's Women's History Month and we have to thank Pussy for not Still? wiping out that's nations. <laughs> nah, nah, that's it. That shit was March. Bro. If it wasn't Chill. for was 31 days. Oh, yeah, it was. Shit, right. Right now, bro. You're right. Oh, thank God. We don't have to thank them, but vagina has technically saving a lot of nations because let's be honest. Well, because women are amazing. Uh, I heard a Jewish dude tell me one time the most stupid. <laughs> Some of them, you just you just can't do it, dude. I just think that I'm not even, I'm not even taking. You know me, I'm not a fucking guy to take stances, but I think men are fucking stupid. <laughs> I don't stand for anything. Listen, right? <laughs> dude, because Bill, I'm Bill Clinton, right? He yeah. could, he could blow up any nation. I, if I was president, I'd just nuke a nation for fun, just right. whatever, right? I know what you mean. But these guys dick sucked in the office. It's like he's he's let a people person. Let be president. Who gives a shit? Yeah. 
No, I feel you. I don't understand how those two things correlate. <laughs> they don't. I'm kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, That's guys. A, you know what? Yeah, guys, what I'm trying dumb. to get to is I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I just think that women wouldn't have the. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but the temptations a man would have in power. Yes, nah, I, I, I can. Am I wrong? Depending. Nah, that's not true at all. Am I wrong? On that? It's not nah, true. Depending. They, they will have different depending. temptations. Right. They would. They would. Right? Their, their temptations are different than ours. They would also right? take the men they yeah, want. But, let's be honest. Exactly. But they our would. temptation is like, oh, I'm drunk. There's a girl from McDonald's. Oh fuck. <laughs> Yo, but you know what it is? They get their nails done now, bro. It used to be they couldn't. Niggas get manicures that now too. That's very true. I'm not talking about men though. I'm talking about the oh. women at McDonald's. God oh yeah. damn. They are pretty as fuck. Yo, I, I'll say this. You see McDonald's? The Bro, girls no, at low income jobs are the fire. Oh, so, no, Chick fil A, they do got some fire. I will take a dental assistant over any woman in my life. Mm, yeah, I do. Yeah. Beautiful. It's all about the regular chicks, bro. The beautiful regular chicks. All about regular chicks. Bro. Women. Yeah, women. Yeah, regular women. Woman. Yo, I don't. I don't understand. Woman. <laughs> these Woman. regular chicks with these regular jobs. Like, how they gorgeous. going to Bali all the time? Like, how they going to, like. Because they have salaries a lot of them. Because also, they don't spend money on dates. Our dumbasses are buying them dinner every night. Out. And they always know coupons you f- in the floor. Bro, you don't mean your girl has like a dude they literally have on your phone is like Popeyes? Like, that's her food for the week. Six like, guys I, is done. I actually have Popeyes in my phone. That's good. It's just Popeyes legit. Does some girl buy you Popeyes? Or are you just racist? <laughs> <laughs> I love Popeyes. Yeah, I did judge a girl once. Uh, judge a girl once. I judge a girl all the time. Oh, but wait, I, wait, what I'm saying is, I, I, I judge this girl, my friend once. In terms of like, she was like, she told me something. And I, I just looked What'd at she her tell differently. You? She was like, I sucked different McDonald's once. And I was like, yo, I don't know why y'all. I was like, yo, why didn't you just hit me up? I won my own heart. Why didn't you just hit me up? <laughs> was it a Big Mac? What, what kind of I don't know. Like, I could have cashed out to $10, bro. Have you ever said to a bro? chick like, hey, you probably should, just don't say that. Don't say bro. that. Oh, I love that shit, though. My girlfriend used to have sugar daddies. Not, that the don't Asian girl me. you're talking about, you no, no, no. have a bunch yeah. of sugar daddies. I love sugar. I, I love a I girl love that, that gets a sugar daddy. I can't respect the girl that's sucking different McDonald's. No, Because it's too cheap. That's easier in your pocket. That's a diabetes daddy. Bro, I can't respect the girl that sucks my dick, bro. Like, it's really? Crazy. Yeah, dude. No, I'm obviously. I bro. love when <laughs> other men buy my girl's meal for the week. Do it. That's less yeah, time yeah, at the yeah. Spilver. <laughs> it's great. Nah. Save your money. I'm gay. Save I like spending time with my girl, bro. You stop, stop trying to be gay, bro. <laughs> I love that side. <laughs> Wait, I guess brother be giving. Oh no, I was gonna say though before going back to uh, Miles, because uh, <laughs> yeah, Miles, <laughs> he's like nigga, what's so funny? Right, because right. when all that shit popped off, we were in our group chat like, yo, they're really coming after Miles right now. And I was like, this is almost hilarious, and we had your back. 100%. Can I tell you what happened? Two things happened. It it made some people hate me, and it made a lot of people love me. Yeah. Oh, for sure. A lot of people. One one big comic who was like, big, big, he was like, yo, I read your uh, apology. He's like, I didn't know what this word meant. That was so good. Like, he loved my penmanship. He was like, yeah. this is great. Like, <laughs> Who's that? Like, what is this word? Sorry. He's like, this guy's eloquent. <laughs> no, I, I used that word. Um, Patrice used the word. The, uh, contrite. Contrite. I'm being as contrite as possible mm. whenever he said something. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You are See, that's the noise that people don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> it means it's short. It means it's short. It we all, we all went, mmm. Mm. Someone oh, say something. I don't oh, know yeah. what yeah. this yeah. means. Contrite. That's like when the preacher just said something poignant. And yeah. You're just like, yeah. My, my, I do that with poetry my, all the time, by the way. Poetry? I be lying to people. When people are doing like, I be, you ever go to like an open mic and have poets? Right? Like nah, open mic I poets? Those. Bro, when I'm there, that it's shit good. is rough. And I'm just like, mm, cause I don't want to hurt their feelings either. I'm a, a lot of these are, guys stay calm. Just be like, no, yeah, it's great. So but a lot of people love you, and a lot of people hate you. Uh, I was talking to Kevin, yeah. and he goes, uh, I was talking to someone about um, booking the show, and they said there's only two people who are not to allowed to right book. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Wait, at your show? Uh, no, 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 not my show. He said he was talking to someone about possibly producing your show, and they were like, there's two people where we can't book, blah blah blah, and Miles Tell. Why? They were like, I can't tell you right now. We mean, now why? Yeah, you explain uh, why. Yeah. Some people love you, some people hate yeah, you. Yeah, some people love you, some people hate you. That's fine. There's places I literally, yeah, yeah. TV. there's places yeah. that I have a a friend that's a booker and I'm still not allowed to work that club because the owner hates me. Yeah. That's just the name that's of the game, fine, baby man. boy. It's the name of the game. It's the name of the Yo, game. Yo, listen. Do you, do you feel like... Uh, so fuck these people, dude. You know what I mean? Not even that, bro. The thing is, though, I don't... Oh, damn. I don't I'll tell you why. Because I don't know no, Amazon on that. <laughs> I thought that was the road we were going. I thought that would be on there. No, no, I'm I'm total opposite because I I'm I've heard that. No, I'm total opposite. Now. I want to be loved. Yeah, he's 27 now. I've had a bunch of friends tell me, like, "Hey, man, like they say, don't hang out with you," and I'm like, "That's fine because I know that I don't really care. I've never talked to anyone and be like, "Hey, don't hang out with him." That's so lame. No, but I don't want to bring it. I would bring never you down, ask. But I'm trying to say is like, do you like listen? Like, do I internalize it? No, no. I remember like I don't really like you take it personally because you understand like 
again, I'm, I'm saying more as a, someone who also kind of feel like I understand that feeling right. of like, you know what? There's people that love me. I say this all the time. I go, you either love me immediately and you slowly start to hate me or you hate me and you slowly start to love me. That's it. It's just like, so you either hate me what or love me. It's like a hate. I guess. I was like gonna say you. it's kind of like that. So I hate you. I love. I hate him again. <laughs> like, <immediately laughs> like a w. That it was always. Well, his like own mind just goes up like <laughs> this. That's mine too. It's like, it's like hate, love, hate love. Hate love. <laughs> but I never felt like. I just felt like you were. You seem like someone I would disrupt class with. Oh, yeah, 100 yeah. percent. That's how. So I never understood absolute, why people. Miles is the kid like you would be absolutely friends with in yeah. high school. Yeah. Yeah. Immediately, yeah, I don't you'd know. walk in class and be like, "Oh, we both hate this." Dylan, you gotta let him finish his sentences too. Good oh, job, lawyer. Yeah. Good job. That's, That's why that I keep was, you on retainer. That was the best oh, friend well, thank again. Thank you, I told you, not a good lawyer. <laughs> good best friend. But no, it's, yeah. I never got why people felt. I never felt it. I guess because you also, I don't DC, know. DC, talking a little too much to me. No, what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say Great job, lawyer. People, oh, now he's a better lawyer. Yeah. It's weird to me what some people consider like too much for them and what, you know, to me, it's, it all feels just like, you know, Go. comedy. Like right you're just hanging out. Can you grab some more wine? Yes. Oh, say less. It just feel like hanging out, cracking jokes. So I don't know. I don't know what. And I, I mean, you are outrageous. Of course. But in, in ten thing? years ago, that's why, no one would dude, care, though. But no, this, this is the thing. I had a, a change of heart. I did. I recognize. I heard your your uh, whatever your dismay about how I do, and I realized, I was like, I recognize it, and I'm a, I now? got smarter. It's not. But it's not even things you do. It's really the most. It's the you say a lot of provocative things. You and Lawrence. Yes, like Madonna's the best singer ever. <laughs> <laughs> Very provocative. But sometimes people would just, I don't know what it is for people. People are just like, oh, this person's like an asshole. No, but can I tell you, can I be honest with you? That's also why I always fuck I'll be models. honest with you. I realized that I was doing that. Sometimes I was getting a reaction out of people, and I realized, like, that's not funny. That's just But being, you were doing, like, dude, shock jock shit in the beginning. Yeah, just shock yeah, yeah, jock. And I was yeah. like, you know what? That's not funny. But you know what's great, though? I'm not to cut you off. No, no, no. What's great is, is that people have that perception of me, and I go to the mics, and they're like, oh, watch out. And I'll say, like, the most goofy. Yeah. I'll be nice to every single person. And it's like, chill. You took your toes out once. This guy is not <laughs> I did. He did. He did. He did. He did. It was the way he took his yeah, toes out. Was, those it to They're like, this guy's not what I thought. Yeah. No. Miles, it's it's so funny. Like, I hate to just be like, I, I oh, dude, Miles, we're so similar, man. dude. But it's like, we would be best friends. No, we would be like, but it's it's funny that we haven't, we didn't hang out Damn, a lot dude. early on in the comedy. Too little? Too little. Too little. Buddy, this is we mine. Now I'm about to get angry, Miles. <laughs> no, <laughs> my fault, my friend. Let me get some more. This is different. You should finish it. What is that? This is. That's like I rose. You're a big wine drinker? No. You're right, I'm not gonna fuck I just want I, I fuck a lot of white girls. I like, yeah. I well, no, I'm I'm fucking it. It's a classy I nigga move to get some wine. <laughs> I actually really didn't what? want more. I just wanted to be this included. Is, bro, this is come on, bro. If I'm coming over to a girl's house, buy the wine. Salute, Ten, boys. Salute, 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 y'all. Salute, salute, salute. Yo, man, we the we the ones coming up right now, yo. Yeah. Yes. I was telling some. We yeah, the bro. ones, yo. Like it's weird to say that shit out loud, but what are you doing? You just want to talk so bad. We the fucking ones, yo. Fucking miles. Give me a moment of silence. When when I first saw Miles, he was such a wild boy. And I was like, you oh, I like this. Down. I saw him calm down so much. That's what I was looking for. perfecting it. Yeah. I was so like, for that. He, cause like, but I love that he had that energy. Because yeah. I was like, yo, like you said earlier when we were out there, this shit is mad soft. Mad boring. No one was rowdy, bro. Nobody was rowdy, bro. No one rowdy, respects bro. the elders of comedy. Mary Patrice, Norton, fucking yeah. Rich Voss. This, this crew does. Outside the cellar. Yeah. Bro, when we... When we come up, we're gonna of. change it. It depends who it is. But bro, like, a lot of people doing comedy don't even like some of the comics that we like. They do comedy for like weird, like Hannah Gatsby reasons or something, or I don't know whatever reason they do. It for. I don't but like this. I don't like this idea that like everyone's listen. We have our crew. Everyone, no, yeah. I'm, but I'm saying let, let me let me let me finish. Go ahead, I'm, go we're on. getting to a point in comedy where you start going like, all right, this is my crew. These are the people I fuck with. These are the people I'm going with. These like, are the people I'm gonna give jobs. These are the people that get yeah. Me so jobs. like Miles, that's why I say like it's something like really interesting to see because we always like. Coming out of pandemic, I started seeing you more. That's when I was start, I saw I started seeing you again, and it was more like, oh, this guy. Not only did, did Miles not disappear, did this, but it's like, oh, you, I keep seeing your face. Mm-hmm. You develop your crew. Everyone's oh, crews wow. kind of come together. We're all friends. It's fun for me to watch. Where I feel like I don't say we're similar in the fact that I feel like we were very wild on stage. Cause I I I resonate with the fact of looking for reactions yeah, from the crowd know what to do. Just say and then oh, and then wow. being like oh this is something this is working but then being like no nah, dude just say something like and then like, being like some oh, funny how shit, do I some... make this work yeah. in a funny joke mm-hmm. where I can be mm-hmm. shocking but still like smart writing yeah so you know? it's like do you do you feel during pandemic like coming out of pandemic like but bring it back up the hate is what I wanted to like, get back up to is like do you feel like even that like I feel like it helped me because coming to here I got hate. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, this hate, like, it carved me. I'm like, oh, this hate is it's carv- carving, and it's carving it's, you. It's, it's just carving me. And, like, no one thought I don't want to be like, I want to welcome it, but it's fun where I'm like, Miles, I feel like we're very similar comedically. I'll tell you, it's so, like, be, if people hate yeah. you, I'm like, 
Miles, I hate you. It showed me two Good things. Shit. It showed me the people who were like, didn't fuck me, who had to prove to be better, and the people who really fucked me, but I was like, oh, I didn't even know they liked me. Yeah. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, cool. Do you know who I am? That's mm-hmm. crazy. Isn't it funny? Because, uh, Kevin, I want to... Because if people hate you, like, if there's a certain, like, even, like, fans or whatever comments, and there's a certain, like, group that hates you, and then other older comics fuck with you, you're like, oh, they really fuck with me. Yeah. Because mm. they recognize what it was Story in their my life, bro. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, well, like, I'm like, there's people that literally go, oh, fuck that guy. I'm not booking that guy, whatever. And then this person goes, no, I fuck with him. Like, I'm telling you, let, let him, let him, he's cooking. Let him, well, let him also, figure it out. You talk about post-pandemic, what I learned from that. I learned that, yes. that, that group you see me around, people think it's like, oh, we're like a gang. It's not a gang. What I did was, I found the people who fucked me the most, and I was like, you know what? Yo, that's so f- that's mad corny. Yeah, that's like corny. You guys are gay. Uh, no, people, racist. people literally and go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, like, no, like, no, what? Like, oh, I'll you got, say it. You got your gang with I'll you? I'll say yeah. it. Yeah. That kind was kind of racist, racist yo. Because, like, everyone has a clique. Why no are we goes, a trope? Exactly. Why can't you be a trope? A trope. <laughs> <laughs> you, know you know what? You know what, guys? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> when you see that circle. Can you imagine if I told them we're a trope? You're a trope. <laughs> You're a quartet. <laughs> Just, when you, when the you black you like, comedy tour. Lawrence is actually a playwright. Yeah. <laughs> you be fucking surprised. Yeah. I was about, to, I was about to go into that. But no that's what I, what I started doing. I had a, a bunch of people fuck with me, and I was like, you know what? All right, so they're not going to fuck with us. We have to start something for ourselves. Absolutely. What can you do? 100%. What can I? I was like, I can do videos. And I got someone who's like, oh, I can write scripts. Mm-hmm. I want to go Wayne's Brothers level with this shit. Yeah. If you're not going to fuck with me, I'm going to fucking make my own shit. Exactly. Why not? Bro. Motherfuckers are just trying, bro. Why not? No one knows what yeah. the right path is, so I might as well no make right one path, up. There's no right path, though. Yeah. Look There's at it. A- Look at, all your favorite, that, look at all your favorite comments. That's what's comics. so annoying. I've been saying that People the think they know months. the path. You Almost don't know what every, the fuck you're doing. Everyone's normal. path is different. Everyone. 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 But Literally it doesn't seem like everyone. a lot of people. And then like, like when Dylan exactly. gets something, right? Like It took me a long time. Not with Dylan. I'm talking about general mm-hmm. comedy. Where it's like my friend would get something and then automatically I think, fuck, why did I, I can't get anything. It's not like, for I you. Suck. It's not your path, bro. It's not my way. Yeah. It's not, so uh, There's some moments where he's looking at you like, how the fuck did he get that? You don't even know that. Dude, I, I'd be scrolling. And I just see, oh, this person got this, this person got this, this person got this. And you start almost developing like this. They're all one person. Yeah. They're getting they're getting Netflix. And now I they're recognize the fact that they're looking at you. Like, I even I look at you. I'm like, God damn, Dylan's up on stage every fucking Sunday. This is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Like, this is crazy. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. But that's, not, like, no, that's no, the right no, mindset, that's though. That's the thing for me. It's not about where, it's not about they I get on stage. That. It's about where he's getting up. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, he's getting up at good You never realize people in the back, like, fuck, dude. I wish yeah, I was with yeah, yeah. Dylan hanging out still. Like, this is cool. It just, yeah. just gets doing it. Yeah. yeah. But, Again, but some though, people say, fu- you have no idea, dude. I'm such a cornball. I'm a, I'm, I'm such a cornball. <laughs> Say that's, it again. Man, that's beautiful. You no, should I'm be a so ball. corny, dude. Say that one more time. When I, <laughs> when I see you, I'm like, yo, it's so fun to still see Miles. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't I think am. you understand you that. Yes, like, so many people yes. that are actually, I'm like, I genuinely fucked with you. I see you on stage. Maybe I didn't always say it to you. But I, maybe you mean like secretly kind of jealous. You're like, this guy's very similar to me. No, like, and, and like a comedian, I'm like, oh, he's he's kind of dark. But he's also funny and goofy. We would develop a really but he's bad also cool. Habit. Yeah. <laughs> we rob a yeah. liquor store in Florida. Dude, we would we, definitely do it. I'm telling you, we should have. It's the fact that we never met in like middle school, high school. It would have been insane. Was a, it was a Unstable. blessing. Yeah. I it's feel like I met you before. It's like it's like a, it's like a Marvel yeah. alternate yeah. universe. Yeah. This place explodes. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, we all die. If we're best friends. In game, should we come in to the left? Like yeah, it's, it's Dylan. It's you know like, Hancock at the end. I was just about to say that. Where they have to jump away from each other. Yeah, yeah. Miles, no. You need to live. That's I wanted to. Uh, it would have ended in jail time, though. Hundred percent miles. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent. You would have got expelled from school in high school if you went. To we would have had national. I, think it, I got expelled high school three times. Oh, okay, because I, I was back of the bus type shit. The way we used to crack when I got other. sent to hold six on, different on, schools. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got expelled in high school and middle school. Mm-hmm. You got expelled in high school. Okay, why? And I went to an alternative for what, for what, for what, school. For what, for what, why middle school? Wow. Alternative high school. It was so much scariest. No, it was so much fun. No, I never got to that point. By the way, for some reason, alternative high school was where I mentally drew the line. I go, I don't know what's over that bridge. That's true. Honestly, Ooh. that's a good bridge to draw because the New York is a little different. Here, Criminal. Well, yeah, well, I was in, oh, Bal- I was in, well, I was in Baltimore, though. Oh, Baltimore that's so scary. Worse. Scary, bro. The wire? <laughs> you know what's on, funny bro. about what you said? I got, when I got to the alternative school, I got kicked out for weed. Some bullshit. That's, oh, that's so Some dumb. Bull- I was selling weed. Well, you're, 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 you're high. You shouldn't be selling dude, weed. Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. I, I wish we were multi-cording this. That means like recording all the cameras at the same time. Natalie's face. When you were like, yeah, I got expelled for weed. She doesn't smoke weed or anything, but she just went. You're right. I went. That's why I stopped. It I was, was like so that's some bullshit. Nah, it was also, so wait, wait, wait. Now, 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 hold on, hold on. Before you say that though, now, how old are you? It's my age, 20, 24? Yeah. yeah. There's a different it's an yo, age gap. It's also yes. working
so it was different. Like, they Wait, found so a you seed. Got, no you nugs. You got kicked out no for nugs. weed. You got expelled for weed. I expelled for weed. I was selling hash. We. I was mad. I had to take a drug test. Oh, so you didn't get school. kicked out for weed. You got kicked out for being a good. Salesman. I was mad because my test just came up like weed and Adderall. I was like, bro, I was doing coke. I was doing Molly. It's like fuck this hard test. Shit. <laughs> my mom was like, oh, it just came up with weed. I was like, really? What did your mom say? That's all mom, she said. I was a better drug dealer. Oh, I, I was such a good. I did. A, I said every drug before I was eighteen. By the way, I was such Jesus a bad drug Christ. dealer. I one time fronted one of my friends a ten dollar uh, bag of just um, weed, and then one day uh, we were doing something, and he was like giving me money for food. Pulled, went through his wallet, gave me money, and as I got to the counter and get, got the change and everything, go. Why didn't I just ask for my ten dollars back right yeah. there? I was like, I'm an idiot. And the next time I saw him, I was like, Yo, can I get my ten dollars? Ah, I don't have it I right now, man. I was like, I've never. Still to this day, Bradley. Bro, somebody oh, fronted cool. me four dollars worth of hash, and I left Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> I smoked it all. It was so good. You ever smoked hash? Never. <laughs> smoked oh, hash. bro. Is that yeah. shit the, the Arabic smoke? Yeah. yeah. Smoke? You take like a little, little bit. Hashish. Mad gummy. By the way, gummy. Hashish. Yeah. Hashish? Yeah. hashish? Is that what it's called? Hashish. Oh, wait. Did I smoke hashish? Isn't that a fucking hookah? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Hash is no, like no. you put it in like a, a washer hashish. or dryer, and it like comes like this oil ball. Are you fucking with me? I'm being dead serious. You put it in a dryer. You that put is a giant. It's a tactic. You, yeah, it's, if you're there's poor, multiple ways of doing things. In we life, did the broke way. You put a bunch of weed in the dryer, and it's like <laughs> oil slash brown goo gets on the bottom, and you put that in the jar, and it's like this much, but it goes from like a lot. Like how do you take out the lint? <laughs> you just smoke that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you get high and see for breeze, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> the boss is like. Hey, nigga, we grew up in Baltimore. We didn't have lint. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how does we taste like fresh laundry? <laughs> Motherfucker, it is! You high, though, nigga! <laughs> I feel so clean! <laughs> Just shaking, like, why am I having a seizure? <laughs> Don't up and down the Sunday morning smoke show. Check out this episode with Miles Toe. Miles Toe. Yo, that, Miles that was me clipping. What the, the fuck was that? Yeah. <laughs> what a weird conversation. Random. Miles. <laughs> now, you gotta do that in the podcast, though. You gotta just fucking no, randomly. I like to uh, we'll do Because when, you know, when you just know it's an, uh, an Instagram clip, like, yeah. Yeah. Real, you'll just do that. Break the fourth wall. Warn real me quick. first. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Miles looked around the room. <laughs> like, Who is he talking to? <laughs> <laughs> what? Right here, <laughs> like an office moment. Miles, like, looked at his own camera. Wait, 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 like, I, gotta, hey, I gotta ask you this question. You can't ask me. Are you a? Uh, are you a? Person? Yes, I'm Aquarius. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stop it. Are you good on yourself? Are you one of those people who like uh, is hard on yourself in terms of like you like gotta, in order to do what you do, you got to talk okay. shit to yourself, or are you kind to yourself? You know, as an artist, <laughs> I know. I just want to. What is your inner monologue? But I also want to. I wanted to ask you guys that too. Like, are you guys like fucking mean to yourself? A Can lot? I tell you, I'm 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 bipolar. So yeah. mm. I have both. I'm really really mean to myself, and I have moments where I'm like, I'm a god. And Couldn't then I be diagnosed to, bipolar. Yes. Okay. And I have to fucking measure it out mm-hmm. and be like, all right, let me not go that far, and like be like, all right, cool. Like whenever I make, I make a video, that's the most manic. Like, like I feel mm. great, and everyone yeah. likes it. That likes the likes, whatever the, the smiley faces. I'm like, yeah, this is me. But then my friend's like, yo, calm down. On to the next one. And they're like, all right, yeah, you yeah. recognize. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. Okay. I think you start at some point developing your uh, repeating of getting dope things when you put out a video, getting that rush yeah. and going, chill, chill. Like, I think you have to start developing that like quickly because like, even for me, like if I get a gig or go on the road, as much as it's so kill? fun and like even like... Listen, I'll say this much. I'm still young to the point. Where if I kill, I'm doing good shows. That after I'm, all night, I'm You're I'm, 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 I'm You're obnoxious. Yeah, obnoxious. But when you get a gig or something, or like uh, even like a commercial or something, like you're like you know, like chill. Like, n- n- I said this to you even today. There's no, n- there's not nothing's gonna come all at once. You know, also my therapist said, which is really not. I don't have a therapist now. I did during pandemic, right? Mm-hmm. He me told too. me that basically that was a good, that's a smart move. Yeah, that was a very, very smart, smart move. move. It helped. I wish I thought of that. I, had a, uh, I was getting seven hundred dollars a week. I was getting a thousand dollars a week from the government and did not get your mental in my health mental in check, health. bro. Mm-hmm. Bro, what? mental health is dope. <laughs> and then to drop that shit on the date, they love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in therapy. Oh my god. <laughs> no, but seriously, to yeah. let yourself know it's okay to feel good about that. Cause that was the thing that like, people were like, "Oh, you shouldn't feel happy." Like, yeah, you should feel hype. You just Absolutely. killed a great show out of town. It's okay to feel hype. It's not okay to go overboard, but to be happy and excited. Like, yeah, I feel happy. This now, do you think like we should like? Okay, you see that twenty seven miles. <laughs> you see that high? Is that a good time to like write emails to bookers? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, Ken, you know, Ken, I say yes because that's right? who you are. Know, that's Ken, who you are. Kevin you know, gets saucy and gets nice, bro. Kevin, yeah, Kevin would be like, yo, I'm you know, nice, you know, bro. It, I'm it, about to email. By the way, by the that? way, when you're feeling nice, like when you just killed, you're unstoppable. It, when you just killed, 
You should not be writing. I could shoot a cop. You should be kill. messaging <laughs> Booker. Booker, like, yes, uh, right. You should like be. If messaging. you bomb, motherfucker, you better be writing. Better be writing. But if you kill, but you should be yes because <laughs> the way you speak is always like, "What's up, man?" Every time I bomb, I go sober. <laughs> <laughs> Every like a month, I'm like, "No, fuck alcohol, fuck drugs, I'm good." Dude, every time I do good, I'm like, "Why am I not on tour, bro?" That's what I, <laughs> I said. It all. Act like, like you never thought about it. You bring it up in conversation. Like, yeah, I'm fucking great. <laughs> no, I'm why am I talking don't to don't you? Don't act losers? like I'm the only one who thinks shit like no, this. No, no, no. I think that, I think okay. that all the time. Like, why am I not opening up for this person? Yeah. You know? and to be honest, there's no reason why you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, yeah. I don't like subscribers. You know the losers. Those losers. Blah. I don't like that shit. Fuck. I'm, I'm trying to be a I'm not that star, good at comedy, that. but like, shut up. Fuck that. You know what? Maya Angelou said it. If someone tells you who they are, believe them. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what I hate? I the hate turtle when said that? Maya Angelou. What oh. the turtle? You, you hear people, you <laughs> talk to some comics. Michael Angelou. That you do comedy with and they say some shit to you like, oh, Ninja you know, I, I don't even really know if I'm, if I really want to be a comic here. or really want to do this. Bro, when people say shit like that, I start to never talk to them again, bro. Yeah. Because there's no, if you know there's no deciding factor for you, my yeah, this is it. I know it's going to happen. It's, it's going to happen eventually. For well, for me, yeah, exactly. You know what's that's funny? That was one of That's one of the things where. But that's also a defense mechanism, too. It could be, but I don't like that. Dude, yeah. no, affirm but, it. Affirm what you want to No, be, but like you know? it's also a different that. mindset of where as much as like we would argue when we do sketches or whatever, yeah. I fucked with DC so heavy in the beginning because I was like, oh no, this guy wants and to be a rock versa. star yeah, yeah, and yeah. shit. Like for better term, just wants to be a rock star in comedy, wants to do this, wants you to hit want to the be road. Wanna be able but you, you want that level stars. of 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 um a success where no. you can create whatever you want with the people that you but, like. Do you want to be the front guy or do you want to be the writer? I'm the fr- bro, bro, no, bro. I want to be no. Yeah. But if, if you got no, if you killed every uh-huh. time you went on stage, but yeah. no one gave you credit, was that okay with you? But no one gave me mean? credit. What do you mean? Essentially, like there's like a fr- like Chappelle Neil uh-huh. Brennan is like the heart and soul of Chappelle's show, right? Great writer, but Chappelle is the front guy. I think Chappelle's the heart and soul. I think uh, uh, he's like the nucleus ish. I think the Neil. writing though is the real that brings it. I don't. Think, I believe that. No, no, I don't think you get what you're saying. It's also the same thing with like Seinfeld and Larry David. Yes, exactly. Like, 100%. What what, you, what Miles is trying to say is, look, there's a difference between someone who can, like, execute versus someone who just like, listen, the front guy. I'm the writer who needs the co-writer. So you, you're the you're the you like the guy. In front. You want to? I need a Larry guy. David. Yeah. I need a where you know what I'm saying. I need I need a co-writer. I need a co. For sure. sure. If you got put stop back, stop, to Larry David. Stop okay gesturing over here. <laughs> Stop going, I, I need saying, a co-writer. But he, you know what Robin I'm talking about Batman. because we've worked together before. So I don't want be... to write. I am not your Robin. <laughs> was but it Robin? Again, Dylan? <laughs> <laughs> but that's what that's what I get what you mean. And that's interesting you say that. I know you were joking, but that's like a that's an ego thing, right? Like we all go through that shit. It's like I want to be the head yeah, of but a snake. It 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 all depends on yeah. how it's playing out. I'm down to write and be in the but back. But there's some things that like Dylan is way better at than I am. Yeah, and I will. I've learned at this age, like this well, one, you shut the fuck up and you let. Also, it go. you two are both rock stars. That's true in your own right. Yeah, yeah. no, but like, but that's that, where I mean, that's... like doing like a uh, like look at like Key and Peele. I think that was one thing that we would reference a lot yeah. when we would write together. Was hey man, who's who? Th- there's no, there's no. <laughs> Cause there's a, definitely this difference between who's funnier, who's better, and Key and Peele. Well, one thing away made movies. I don't want as a white wife. I'll, so. I'll say this much. I'll say this much. What are you gonna do? I consider my direct, myself the director and the editor of all those videos as, I, as I was. I didn't say Are that. Are you Keegan? Jordan Peele, baby. You're Jordan. <laughs> Wait, yeah, which yeah, one's Keegan? Uh, Keegan. <laughs> oh, no, Keegan's no. the bald one. The bald one. <laughs> Who made <laughs> I mean, Get yeah. Out? Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele. Jordan I'm Peele. that one. So you're Keegan. <laughs> you're that, Keegan. He says, I'm that one. And you're Keegan. I'm a little bit of both. I'm really Donald Glover's son. That's what I tell, tell people. That's the best way to describe myself is, is Donald Glover's son. This is you know what I mean? Conversation. It's, it's not. It's up. not. It's well, not. who you Everybody's... believe you are? I don't believe I am that person. I'm that person. Kanye and Joey West. Diaz. <laughs> I mean, Kevin Sanchez. Who do you believe you are? Joey Diaz. Well, I'm, not, I'm definitely not Joey Diaz. Because I, I didn't live that crazy life. Not, I mean, I did live a crazy yeah, life, but not like that. What's the craziest thing you ever done? It's it's like, I hate that question. Oh. Go back to his real mom. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, come what on, happens? We all answered for that. We're assholes. I don't know if we're good friends for knowing yeah. these Excuse things or bad friends for saying these things. You don't know your real mom? I know my real mom. I'm now? Yeah. You're, 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 you're adopted? Yeah. Oh, where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, but I, get new, a, can I get a new seat? <laughs> I was sitting next to the adopted. Yeah, I had real parents. <laughs> Jesus. Did you did you grow up with both parents? What? Don't talk to me. <laughs> Wait, Miles, Miles, let's see if we can sec- secure this friendship for real. Divorced parents? Oh, never got married. I'm a bastard. Like Jon Snow. I mean, that's close enough. I'll take it. Bass, my mom had me at 21. <laughs> Word. Oh. 
Okay. At a black college, Spelman. Ooh, she graduated college, huh? Did she graduate? She got a PhD, my guy. Wow! I'm all Shout out, what's your last? To, uh, Bailey. Toe? Bailey. <laughs> Do you know the different father? Is he only child? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was until I turned 18. She has a. I have a five year old brother now. That you're 18 Six. years older than? Yeah. Jesus Christ, that's crazy. Bro. He's so funny. You can't even relate to that guy. He, my mom has no, some weird it matter. goofy gene in her pussy because he's fucking yeah. hilarious. He's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> is so funny. Pussy. Yeah. This nigga stole from Target and he was like, Miles, don't tell mom. <laughs> at like six and I didn't say shit until I fucked up and I was like, yo, you stole that and then he got in trouble. That's so funny. He was like, Miles! <laughs> I, I bought him a, a Nintendo game and I was like, don't say anything and he got in trouble for that too. Oh, I'm trying to be like the cool brother. That's yeah, why I got calmer. That's He helped me get calmer. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because now I'm like his uh, role model. I'm like, I got to look out for this oh, kid. That's, that's and also, nice. all your shit is on video now. Like, yeah, he you're, can see you're it. trying to be in it's the nice. public eye. He can see it. He, yeah. can look, he can YouTube you and see yeah. like a couple things. Mm-hmm. Are you close with your uh, dad at all? Um, we were. But that's kind of an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, well I love where you I get love, it. From. Is that where you get it? Well, what kind of an yeah, asshole man. is he? So my dad was the kind of guy, right? He was an African dude. He never, never. My dad had a monkey when he was in Africa, and his uncle killed it. So <laughs> a monkey as a pet, he got a bad yeah. grade, and his uncle beat with a stick to death. Is that the most his African story ever? Killed a yeah. monkey with a stick. By the yeah. way, also, you know how difficult that is. Yeah. Not even that, but also it's shitty for the monkey because the monkey's definitely smart to be like, I. What did I do? Well, yeah, the monkey's probably like, Yo, what the fuck is up? I'm like, sorry, bro, I failed calculus. <laughs> oh, was that? That, he yo, failed I'm a sorry. class and his uncle so, killed up a stick. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. That's so infuriating because like if I like if I had like an old brother and like my dad came home and he failed his test and he started beating me up, I'm like, what is happening? Imagine like growing up and realizing that everything could be life or death for you. That's what I'm like, saying. That's, yeah. a, like, that's a wow. When I'm like, he's an asshole. Well, I know where what, that came from. That's why that's foreign trauma. parents are like, what? Do you, I don't care about anything you say. There's life no is, yeah. life or death. Every, like, not in here. Not, not America. Not America, America like, is sweet compared with where they're yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. Like, yo, listen, like, you're lucky maybe to have water, like, bro. That's like, why. I like, mean, maybe a sprinkle of like possible, but like, like my dad grew. Dylan, my dad was really, like, you, my, my dad was America, in the right? army. Yeah, I grew up in South Florida. Yeah, American ass nigga. Did your parents <laughs> use the threat to send you to Africa and shit when you misbehave? <laughs> yes. Did they? Yeah, my mom did the same shit. I'm gonna send you to Jamaica if you don't start behaving. And I was like, I don't want to go there. Yeah, nah, I can't. They modify, have bro. civil wars. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have an established government. <laughs> yeah. and everyone doesn't have lights. Like, this what shit is, is their ridiculous. currency like? <laughs> <laughs> shit is. <laughs> it was scary thinking about that, bro. Like real, real answers to it. Yo, my mom was. Do they eat food? <laughs> my mom was wild because, like, my mom is Puerto Rican. I'm Dominican, mm. so she went. I'm gonna sign you back to your country, cabron. Uh, <laughs> your country she would have disowning you with it. Yeah. Cause and also there's like a level of fear, like this bitch might not be joking, bro. Yeah. You know what's oh, funny? Of course. Having a white mom from New Jersey, my mom had to make up people. She was like, I'm bringing you to like Matilda's house around the corner. She's a mean, mean lady. She likes to beat and eat children. I'm Did like, your mom oh, okay. ever or your dad ever drop you off and then leave? You ever had that, Kevin? Wait, Where they're like, wait, you've wait. been bad, so they drop you off at the park, no. like, see ya. My dad, when we were- Nah, not like that. He, my dad dropped me off, went around the corner three times. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh. <laughs> I, yo, I no, guess no, no. I'm homeless now. <laughs> this is my favorite. When, um, when we'd be driving on like a street or whatever, if I was being bad in the back seat, my dad would be like, hey, you can get out and walk home. And he would, I, I knew he would, I don't know why I knew, I just knew this was something that like he would do to like my sister and my mm-hmm. brother, and I'm absolutely sure it worked. And he goes, you can walk home. Did you ever walk home? I opened that fucking door. Your parents closed it. I have walked home. <laughs> I've been dropped off. Yo, yeah, my dad yeah. got out of the car and beat the shit out of you? Yeah. Good. That too. You deserve yeah. that beating. That nah, the little, I, you want to disrespect yeah, your pops like fucking, that, bro? Yeah. Brought Take you into this a, country? Take it from a couple of- You could of, do cocaine and have a podcast? You know what I mean? It was what, dude, it was so crazy. I got out of the car. He started screaming, get back in, get back in. And when he came to beat my ass, he started beating my monkey. He was like, you want this? You want this? <laughs> my monkey, no! <laughs> that's no, what you call DC? Mr. Chimp! DC, no! No, DC! No more DC! <laughs> I, tried, tried, no was the worst. Together. I was trying to get away from this nigga anyway, bro. It's all good. He's like, your dad was nice, though. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it was a at the combo. No, I, I, um, do you guys ever like? Do you guys see your parents now? Are they like a lot more chill at all? Oh, yeah. You get along with them. Can I tell you some crazy? My, I, That's my a mom weird thing was to see, wild dude. back in the day. My mom too. My mom was. She said she was. She was in Atlanta. She was supposed to be in an outcast video, but her girl didn't show up in in time. Or what? And Al- I'm sorry. This, this wine is good. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's some hey, good wine. Hey, hey, I be fucking people up. I got a, I got a uh, wine store called Urban. It's on. Is uh, that wine called Gulag? Urban? It's, on, yeah, it's called Urban. Oh, I know the wine. I passed yeah, yeah. it on the way here. I passed it over I there. forgot she was here. That's how drunk I am. The guy knows me and he goes, what do you want, papi? I say, yo, pull me to some shit that 
uh, uh, people of disenfranchised can talk on a podcast with. <laughs> Won't be able to Give me some shit that's not great for a podcast. Right, yeah. That's too much promo for them, though. They don't need all that promo. Oh, it's gulp. Yeah. What nope. I was trying to say was, yeah, my mom was supposed to be in an Outcast video uh-huh. in Atlanta. She was supposed to be a groupie. Friends show up late. Like, my mom's got, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my mom's nigga? Your mom's supposed outside. to be a groupie, but <laughs> we can step outside right now. Imagine, though, your mom was supposed to be in it, but she didn't get picked. Like, she just wasn't in the running. Both of y'all? <laughs> well, so much y'all. This was a, yo. So your mom's not a piece? Hey, yo. Your mom's not cute. I, I should have brought my gun. <laughs> I didn't bring it because Dylan's like it's a friendly environment. <laughs> I'm 27 miles. My mom had to kill DC. Miles. I don't think <laughs> <laughs> he made Yo, it. You, you know this dude's bringing guns to comedy shows now, right? Yeah. Yo, Josh was so tight yeah, no, that one no, guy had a fake gun. By the way, gun. I saw that there was a dude that bought a fake gun a to fake a comedy show dreads, right? to make a joke of like, oh, if anyone. I saw that on Instagram, bro, bro. I'm telling you, I was like ballsy I was for a black man that. in America. <laughs> That's what I thought too. I was there. I kept thinking like, man, how far have we come? I'm like, yo, that's 15 years. Yo, that shit was funny, It pissed bro. me off. I'll be like, if I was a, if I was there, I would have roasted the you, fuck out of him. I was like, I would have shot him. <laughs> <laughs> you think a carry gun in my country, boy? <laughs> bro. It was the first, I don't know how many times it's going to be funny because he did it like last week, Tuesday, and I was like, oh, that's kind of funny that he did that. Uh, and then it, I saw Josh. I was like, yo, this fucking guy brought a gun. I'm like, I, yo, I mean, the mic is All the Jews enough. are mad. I'm not carrying an axe. All the Jews are mad. I don't know why. <laughs> I was uh, drinking with him the night before that guy. Were you really? Yeah, I was sober. He was drunk. He's like, you want to see this? He was sitting by the bar. He goes, I gave him the I'm, idea. I'm, I'm going to do something Did tomorrow. You really? <laughs> yeah, I was no. like, you should bring a gun on stage. And then the next day, he has a what? gun on stage. <laughs> what was the bid? <laughs> I was just fucking with him. Like, he was just running up on comedians. You know, the, guy, the guy goes, you think I should do it? Kevin goes, I mean, yeah, I have yeah. a gun right here. Also, like, mass shootings are actual fear. Like, what? I was like, yo, we should bring If he stage. bombs, is it over for us? <laughs> I'm kidding. I didn't tell him any of that. But <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. Guy was, yo, this guy's killing. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <insane>. <laughs> <laughs> but I was drinking with him the night before, and he was such a sweet guy. I don't care. Such a I nice wrote the mass shooter. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. sounds right. Bro, my guys, gun with guys, me. guys, and um, speaking of mass shooters, let's get into plugs. Oh yeah, get it, like bullet holes. Yeah. They plug your body. All right, all right. There we go. Whatever we understand. Whatever Whatever alternative alternative comedy. Right. <laughs> I was just, I was just trying to get to the music. You want me to plug first, or you go? No, Miles, please go. What do I got to plug? Like a show? You guys plugging each it, other? Do you, know, you know what plugs are? Have you ever been on a show before? Not really. Is this your first podcast? I don't do podcasts. But I like you. Oh, I like you too. <laughs> I'm afraid of getting canceled because of things I say. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> by the way, very fun. This hour flew by. Yeah, I, yeah. By the way, flew by. Plug your Instagram. Where, where can people follow you if they uh, like who you, you can are? You follow me on Miles underscore Toe. That's M Y L E S underscore two T O E. I'll be at QED on April 14th. And um, I'm pretty fucking funny. Yeah, uh, he is fucking funny. Yeah. He is very funny. And uh, do you have like a YouTube page or anything like that? Sort? It's just Miles Toe and everything TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Miles Toe. Not only fans, show my same shit. Main platform, Instagram. I'm getting OnlyFans soon. Hey. Let's, Let's go. Up. You gonna Let's fuck? Of course. Really? Yeah, I want to. Honestly, can, if you do that, yo, honestly, I'm subscribed. I'm gonna respect you. So, like, that shit is so crazy. <laughs> face I'm or no face? I'm gonna pay. Face? face? I'm doing oh, bits shit. while I'm fucking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's an idiot. <laughs> Papa Sanchez, tell him where to find you. Yo, you can find me at ITS Kevin Sanchez on Instagram. Instagram, Papa Sanchez on Twitter. You can follow the Mac Almanac with me and my man Josh Pallet. Cut that out. Uh, damn, you, you find him headlining still. Rikers Island. Six months in. Uh, and uh, I, I'm, a, I'm May fifth, Cinco de Mayo. We're gonna have a show at the Soho Playhouse. My man Dylan is on oh, it. Oh yeah, I'm on that. <laughs> I gotta get one more comic. Is it gonna be DC or Josh? Oh, uh, we're not letting any comic support. It's gonna be sold out. Never mind. Oh uh, shit! <laughs> boop, 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 boop. The only <laughs> I don't like comedians supporting comedy shows that are not booked on t- Miles. I'm gonna book oh. you. Oh, I can't book you on the show. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> miles, Damn. Miles, I'll book you on my show. Twenty-seven miles. 27 miles. I'll 27 book you on my miles, show guys. too. Me and Kevin got some shows coming I love your shows. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. Thank you, my guy. Oh, thank you, thank you my guy. I forgot. Great. I'm now guys. Produ- oh. Yeah, 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 bro. Go ahead. You you make DC flyers, Williams. Guys. DC does it on everything. Um, Whoa. really just Instagram. The, you, you can't bring wine anymore. No, you like, wine. <laughs> that's too much. You'll never. I got big ass hands. So I just watched my one of my best friends go. DC Williams, yeah. DC Twenty seven miles is a judge. I did it like a and wizard, though. Yeah. Not like a gay dude. Go limp. I don't my, care. My, they didn't go limp, did they? I love this. Anyway, man, man, it doesn't matter. That's okay. It, it's okay. Limp if they go yeah. limp, you'll take it hard. Now, if you do it up your dick oh, and wow. mouth, I got a problem. Whoa, no, no, no. But yeah, follow me on everything. I didn't say DC that part. does it. Um, we got some exciting news coming up. Uh, Friday Shigil Cafe. There will be a show every Friday. We also got some other shows going on there, so stay tuned. Um, and yeah, a lot of exciting things happening. Too. A lot of ca- 
hey man, this might be the last time you see your boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 this year's gonna get crazy, bro. All right, all right, Dylan. Uh, guys, Dylan J. Letter. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, really it's over for me. <laughs> I've been DC. That's my. By time. the way, DC's oh. like, guys, this is the last time you see me. I'm either gonna blow up or it's suicide. You decide. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Um, guys, follow me on everything at Dylan J. Negri. Um, follow Dope to Bendani on boop, Instagram. Boop. Dylan and Jamal Negri. Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> Jay says for Jamal, I swear to God. Dylan, <laughs> follow, me, follow, follow me at Dylan J. Negri. The J stands for Jamal. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That's my, that by the way, really, really and, just, and just like his name, he's black always in the middle. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, if you're on YouTube, go follow the Dope the the Podcast, the YouTube Negri. page. <laughs> That's like an English word. You're being My very negro. <laughs> He's always in the middle of something black. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I arrest you know, him because he's it. very negrily. <laughs> Get the ball. Come on, Kevin. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Too many negrilies in my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> if my daughter touches a negrily, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm out of here. Fuck this podcast. This place sucks. I hate everyone here. I like her. She's cool. <laughs> Dylan, why'd you get so negry? Oh, wait. Here we go. I'm stupid. Boss, um, thank you so much for coming. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What? Natty Ice? Natty. Oh, oh, Natty. Oh, he remembers. Are you sponsored yeah. by Natty Ice? No, no, my name is, Natalie. Natalie. Name is Natty Ice. Oh, Natalie. Natalie. Yeah. All right. Um, Natalie, what do you have to plug? Follow me on Instagram, Natalie DeChico Edits, and follow this on Instagram, Doped Up Comedy. Let's Natalie, bo- 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 Natalie bo- bo- told bo- No Need for Apologies that that was her favorite podcast. Wow. Texted me afterwards and said I was lying. Okay, listen. And said it was Doped Up and Down was her favorite Thank podcast. Natalie. And then I responded with Natalie, you don't have to lie. And she didn't respond. I, wow. uh, Natalie's moving like a comic now. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Right. No, no, your show's better. <laughs> I specifically you, said to No Need for Apologies that they were one of my favorite podcasts, and this is also oh, one of my favorite podcasts. <laughs> I, I believe you. I do nine podcasts, so that's saying Jesus, something. bro. I Jeez. bet you watch no podcast because you do this shit so much. I don't, I don't watch any that I work on. on. Okay. Except for I Ben bet. Shapiro. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got one. I got, no, but I'll... Listen, before, 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 we before we get into one more thing, before we get into one more thing, Miles, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you, Miles. Like, seriously, you're yeah. welcome. If, if, you're, if you're listening and you're watching right now, you understand. Said, my presence is a present. Suck my dick, bitch. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't think you understand. Like, if you fuck with us and you fuck with me, this is one dude I really like. I, I, my same approval means dick. But Miles, like, I really fuck with you. So if you're listening and you're watching right now, please bro. go follow him. Go follow his adventures, especially if you're in New York area and you're one of those fans. Follow Miles because when he posts shows, go see him. And I'm sure oh, we'll be doing I, shows I together. I got more plug. I'll be Please. in LA oh. May 6th to 13th. Ooh, oh, doing? speaking doing of some, doing some shows. Nice. Also, speaking of one more plug, if you're listening this far into the show and you're a fan and you're in New Jersey area and you're listening this week that it, this episode has come out, go see me oh, uh, hosting for Big J the 15th and the 16th. Hosting yes, for Big J. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Wait, where? 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 Uh, it'll be a uh, New Jersey Bananas Comedy Club. Oh, fuck yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, unironically, I will be there. It's, that's right bananas. by my house. Day is that? Like, day on, day day. Natalie, come watch me bomb so you can oh, watch me lie to everyone. Don't, don't Natalie, do when I come here and tell everyone I murdered, shut that. your fucking mouth. You're going to bring him coffee when he gets so much leeway. <laughs> off stage. You get so much leeway as a host, I don't think you're going to No, but um, yeah, you're not gonna no, it's going to be fun. I'm really excited. It's going to be me, uh, Justin Silver, and Big J Okerson. So guys, 15 and 16. No, it's funny. Listen to this. Um, does he listen to this? Yeah. He won't. He doesn't listen to this. He watches he, my stories. I like Big J a lot. He's to awesome. Me. I, I mean, do a lot of crowd work, Big J. You know what's funny? <laughs> You're my hero. No, it's a weird thing. Uh, uh, this is a weird thing. I was about to say. I was like, y'all, I'll introduce you. And I want to say that in the way of when when there's two people you like, even when it's you guys. Let's say you didn't know Miles. Like, oh, I fuck with you. I fuck with Who you. Who is this, guys? <laughs> like, guys, smack you. Upside your head. Do you know how many times people I don't fuck with ask me to introduce them to Big J? Really? He's a hero. <laughs> well, no, he really he is. is. He's he an is icon to guys is, like us. Yeah, he I'm, is, but it's a weird thing where it's like, dude, I don't even really, I don't, I don't really fuck with you, but it's like, that's a weird thing to like, we want, we want just to introduce you or just to say hi and whatnot. I would introduce, I would say, hey, this is Miles, a young comic. I really fuck with him. Like, if you see him around, like, Can just so honest, you know who he is. I'd be so nervous. Yeah? I'd get really, really nervous. Really? Yeah. Two guys want to meet. I would Dan make Soder. Fun of you. Dan Soder. 
I would cum my show. pants. Hey, yo, hey, yo, Dan, if you me see me, I would cum my pants. I, 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 I know you're so such a big sad. fan of the bonfire. I love the bonfire. I, I, bonfire. I really love the bonfire. You're a crackle motherfucker. You're a crackle crackle? Yeah, crackle, crackle motherfucker. No <laughs> yeah, way. I love the bonfire. I went up, I, I went up to Dan. I always miss him. I went up to Dan. I went up to Dan at the stand, right? He's so cool, right? Like a couple of weeks ago. Weeks ago. Weeks ago. And I went up to him as a like a friendly person. I was like, yo, Dan, I know you're busy, but you sat. I just want to say I'm a big fan. I love you. I didn't tell him I was a comic. I just I love you as a comedian. I love you on the bar and fire. Crackle, crackle. And then Louis J. Gomez comes yes. up because he thought I was like chewing out his ear. I know better. I got a bad bitch at the bar at the stand. Yeah, you got to talk. I'm not trying to talk she to Dan Soto. He hasn't told me this story. Yeah. I, I, I'm not trying to talk to, to, to Dan for too long. I yeah. understand he don't want to hear shit Louis, from me. Louis, I understand. <laughs> and fucking Louis comes up. He goes, Yo, what up, doggy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on it. And then he like kind of pushes me out of the way. And I was like, you out. <laughs> I was like, all right. And yeah, 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 this, yeah, is how good of, this is how good of a fan. This is how good of a guy Dan is. He goes, he hey man. Thank you. That's a good guy, Dan. Yeah. Good guy. Because he wanted. To, like, I knew what it was. I was one like, one of my uh, favorite Dan Soder bits that um you only see if you see him live is uh he does a uh, uh, White Chappelle. I've said it before. I think I've said it. Said it before. I've said it a lot. A lot. It's one of my favorite bits. I've seen it. And dude, it's the fact he's so nice. We're outside of the cellar, and I was next to Jay, and I go, Jay, can you ask Dan to do a White Chappelle tonight? He and, did it. And he goes, Jay goes, Dan, you dumb bitch, do White Chappelle. And Dan <laughs> just goes, I think I can do it. And he goes. <laughs> He goes, it's a request from Young Dill. And I was like, dude, I'm sorry. It's just one of my favorite bits. And he goes, oh, I, think I'll, I think I'll do it. One of my favorite. Does it, murders, gets off stage and looks at me and goes, oh, yeah, it worked here. I was like, I do. I told you. He's like, yeah, but, it's it. but this, is the, this is the crazy thing about like comics. I'm sitting there like a, almost like a student. Like, this is such a funny bit. Yeah. He gets off stage and he just says to me, I go, dude, it killed. And he goes, yeah, it's an impression. Everyone has impressions. And then just walks away. And I'm like, Dan, it's just like, it's one of those things of like, it's a, it's a master. Yeah. yeah. It's a I saw, they're masters at work. In an episode of Billions. Try the mic. Also, that's it. it? That's all you. Wait. I'm gonna smack the shit out you, bro. You did raise your hand like a fucking autistic student. Can yeah. I, yeah. Tell me if y'all think something stupid right now. <laughs> sure. Go ahead, DC. Can I? Uh, I saw him on television. All right, DC. <laughs> all right, DC. Next one. Two plus two equals. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I remember him from? Guy Code. That's where I fucking love him from. He was on Guy Code. He was on Guy Code. Look up Dan Soda Guy Code right now. On Guy Code. Look him up right now. That's a lie. He was. That's a lie. Was. I forgot Pete was. I thought you were. No, I was on Guy Code. You thought I was on Guy Code. You seem like a Guy Code kind of guy. You do look like. Guy code right, guy. Am like I wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy code, bro. No, no, look it up. That's and, not Maddie Smith. You gotta no, Google that, it. Oh, I thought you were pointing to Natalie. Like, that's Is not, Maddie Smith the funniest white girl alive, dude? What do you stop talking? Say right. saying things, bro. Think she's before you funny. Speak. Oh, she's funny. Bro, she's funny, bro. Mom, uh, no, well, no, cut away. Oh, cut away. Oh, oh, Natalie, oh, Natalie, oh, Natalie, oh, Natalie, oh, Natalie. Now cut, now cut, now cut. Yeah, yeah, funny, yeah very bro. funny. <laughs> you know, bro, she's <laughs> funny, bro. She's funny, bro. Fuck <laughs> Maddie Smith. <laughs> wow, what happened? You did a, what happened, bro? She beat you in a roast battle? What happened? What happened? <laughs> I know her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> oh, wait. Ooh, All right, better for Let's ooh. cut so we can talk about no, this. No, I didn't say that. Let's cut. I want to say that. Cut that part out, Natalie. Cut that part in. Yeah, yeah, Make it the opening. Still still don't, don't do not make it <laughs> Tiger. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Yo, really... okay, wait. Uh, okay. I'll show you. Dan Soder, Geico. Actually, oh, wait, wait, I want to say one thing, though. Okay. Before we get back into it, I want to see if you guys agree. Look, see? He was a freaking on MTV's Geico. Didn't know that. Okay, yeah. That's where I know That's him, that generation, bro. That's Natalie, give me not tips why did Miles beat really? you to this? <laughs> yeah, Natalie, what the fuck? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Um, he didn't pull up a video. Ooh. He doesn't have what we need. I listen. I didn't have a video though. <laughs> it's okay, I support you. But um, wait, the, Dan Soder's Winnie the Pool on the bonfire. That whole thing is like the all his all his voices are the best. It's one of the best. No, but here's the thing: it's one thing to do a voice. It's another thing to start creating a bit within that voice. The jokes that yeah. has nothing to the do. The voice isn't the joke. Yeah. All right, I want to ask yeah. you guys a question. So you guys agree? I was sitting in the green room, and this is not a fly. I was yes, sitting in the green room. Dick. Just say it. With uh, Derek and Dave. Yeah. And we were sitting there talking about for Black Ass one week, and um, just Jay came up because he was doing the Carolines weekend that week. I know, I know Dylan's about to stunt right now. So no, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Me and what, Dave, I remember we were, there, were, there was one, there was one set we were watching um, Jay. And, you and me and Dave were just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> also, I can do an ollie. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's Guys, I could trade flip and murder. I have like three Yeezys. So what? <laughs> uh, two, but working on a third. You went to Miami Beach? I know DJ Khaled. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Dude. Watching all Say the- dude. All, 
Dude, watching all the comics. <laughs> it's a very cool. Watch movie, Jay. And we're sitting in the green, we're talking. When does Jay get the goat title? One of them. He's already a goat. No, but but you don't you don't hear it in the streets. You don't I'm um, comedy streets. Whoa, watch your mouth, son. Watch <laughs> your fucking mouth. When people bring up like, Chappelle, no, no. Chris Wait, No, not, there's do, no do way categories. to open mic. Do categories. Categories? Categories. Categories. Right? Do the best written comic, like as in writing. That's a good Dave. Dave. Dave, do the best yeah. crowd work comic. Best joke writing, probably. Best uh, jokes. Then it comes to Jay. Jay. Then it goes Jay. Chris Rock is really. Yeah, like you joke. you have the goats no, like the bird, Chris work? Rock, oh, whatever. Crowd, crowd work. Like you have like the the Shows. gods. The, the that's Dave, Chris, Cat, whatever, right? But, you but go, is like, that between like like do you when you go to like joke writing do you break up like storytelling like I, yeah. I, I, I don't wait know but about, who's the best storyteller. Is is Dave a storyteller? Yeah, he does. Dave he is, is. storyteller, but he also, is I, also but he's also not a great joke. I'm not gonna writer. lie to you, bro. He is one of the best rounded overall. I do players. like like two K stats. He's, he's, he's the best balance. He's, he's like, MJ. Like, yeah, he's like two K stats. It's like yeah. shooting overall he's points, overall. whatever. He's but there's overall. some guys who are skilled in one craft. I'd say Jay is this top yo, yo. next to Schultz at crowd work. Oh, I got yeah. I got something that I'm really kind of excited to say. Dave Chappelle is LeBron. Chris Rock is Michael Jordan. No, 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 not even you your bugging. fucking wildest what? dreams. You bu- I know that was a hot take. You nah, didn't agree with as soon as you said it. As soon as you said it, hot take. I don't know. By the way, hot take, hot take, hot take, hot take, hot take. Okay, no, but I think Dave Chappelle is LeBron. I think he's balanced. Nah. Well, then who came before him? Is who's Michael Jordan? Richard, Richard Pryor. Fuck that. Nah, I think Chappelle is Jordan, dude. Richard Pryor. Richard Pell is Jordan. Chappelle's Jordan. Richard Pryor. Eddie Jordan? Murphy, no. Bill Russell. We have no LeBron yet. What? We, we don't have, have no LeBron. LeBron yet. We don't have a nah, LeBron yet. I think on. comedy is Le- LeBron is coming up right now. Heavyweights in comedy, bro. The, the, listen, listen, listen. And if, listen, comparably to Michael Jordan, LeBron level. Bro, oh, you know yeah. what? Sebastian yeah. Maniscalco. So, that's LeBron. what I'm saying. You have the god, the and then the of, next the guy. The amount of time that Chappelle has been putting in into comedy, how he's still at the top of his level, is a reminiscent. To LeBron, no, to Jordan. 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 Who's a comic that had six years? There, maybe even Cal Williams had six years. They were on fucking top. Cal Williams, like, like I don't, Jordan. I, I don't Jordan was on top for thirteen. He just won the gold because Chappelle has the highest output out of any other comedian. There you go. And that's what it's about. He drops. He drops. He drops. He drops. He drops. For the most part, cancel drop again. Exactly. It's and no one else does that. He did retire to play baseball in Africa for a couple years and came back and murdered (laughs) some people. Fucking their whole dude has a ranch in Ohio and still was murdering from his ranch. He's rich as shit. Come on. I want to see that documentary too. So by the way, you don't think comedy has the LeBron? Not yet. I think think LeBron is in our era. It's coming up. It's coming. Bill Burr is close to like a LeBron esque. No, I feel. I feel like Bill Burr's not. I love Bill. He's like a. He's Chris like a Larry, LeBron, Larry Bird. Bro. No, You're he's like a Larry Bird. I put him on the Chris same Rocky level, Rocky level yeah, different category. Chris Rock no, is LeBron. No, because Le- not. Chris doesn't have that many specials. Where I'm like. I can go to, but that's maybe he's like a uh, uh, Magic Johnson, guys. If you're looking, yes. it's all about being the best. Yes, yes, he's ma- he's Magic Johnson. See the he's gods we have MJ. now, the gods we yeah. have now, they're on the All Star team. They're mm-hmm. the fucking, they're up there. But Chappelle's the goat. We're waiting for the LeBron to come up. I'm coming right to now. Just match, in case there has big, not been one count to match Chappelle. Guys, big J is Allen Iverson. J, that's just for you in case you're listening. There's yeah. some people that match Chappelle. They just don't have the name, who? dude. Like people who just aren't like as famous. Who? But, Fucking um, hold on. Wait, well, right what now. did you say? Like the people who aren't as famous that are like as like funny. As though. funny, like Dave Attell, maybe to nah, some nah, people. I, nah, I, mean, I just Attell, I'm thinking about right. like I'm yeah. thinking about like 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 a like a fucking Nor- Capone or something like that. But I like, don't know what you're saying. That wine, that, that wine hits you different. <laughs> no, okay. Basically, what I'm saying is, I think those By people way, are two there. Empty bottles of I, wine. I will say this, right? For I LeBron party, level baby. character to come up, they have to pass through the bullshit we're going through right now. It means a PC culture. That means the getting past the clubs. It means shining through this bullshit to come up the same way Chappelle did, and then challenge Chappelle, and then win. Where well, the conversation goes, like, oh, it's either this guy or Chappelle. People can't tell the difference. I have not seen that yet. Yeah. If Chappelle's Jordan, yeah, that's that's. We have not Chappelle. seen that yet. You know I what? think Chappelle's you know Jordan, bro. Chappelle is Jordan. Yeah. Chappelle is Jordan. By when far. You, when you Rock watch LeBron, Jordan and when you watch Kevin Chappelle, Hart. it Kevin was Hart no, is it, fucking LeBron James. It was Kev. Yes, he is. Think about it. No, think about it. It was. Think about it. Until he stopped. Yeah, but th- but think about it. What did LeBron say? Why I want to be the Are billionaire we about athlete. Stand-up? I want to have the biggest brand. Brand. Comedy brand. Yeah, I know Dylan kind of agrees with this right now, bro. You're talking about special I for special this. is Chappelle, but I, I just mean in the sense of Kevin Hart's impact. I think he's definitely LeBron-ish. By the way, I want to point out. Kev was a pop star. I want to point out. I want to point out. 
want to point baby, out? Boy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why did LeBron go to the Lakers? LeBron is too Why LeBron go to the Lakers? I will tell you this though. Why LeBron go to the Lakers? The fact that we're having this argument pop star? doesn't mean he's LeBron. I'll give it to you. Yo, because his right? name wouldn't be mentioned in an argument of tone. By the way, it's all love. There. That's what I want to bring out. It's all love. Like we love these people. Yeah, yeah, that's why we're sitting here yeah. talking. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not comparing them to like, like Eddie Griffin, I, Dominique I, Wilkes. I compare. I'm like Tyler Hero. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Epps, Michael Blackson. Mike <laughs> Epps. But even Chris Rock said Mike Epps is a better comic than he is. But he said I just pick better jokes, which I understand because I see people on stage. So I'm like, this guy no, is a comic. No, comic. I love black. This guy's yeah. funnier oh, than I could this ever conversation. be. The Kevin Hart. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The LeBron uh, James is obviously Chris D'Elio. <laughs> Chris D'Elio is actually <laughs> one of the reasons why I got into comedy based on his first batch. I hope, I hope not. Say that. In court, please don't ever based say that. On, based on the way his Can you make a watermark on that? Out. All right. All right. Uh, I want to ask Miles a question. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Okay. Let's, 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 what's, let's something, what's something you want to put out to your universe in terms of how you want your career to a special go? <laughs> And then something you want to put out in the universe that has nothing to do with your career. The fuck does that even mean? Uh, Just uh, fucking. Uh, yeah, yeah, can you, you symbolize it? Can you make please, it white I, to me? I, of course, of course. Uh, Milestones. Anything that you're currently manifesting? Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Pretty DC, well, can you change it? I don't know what the fuck <laughs> he's got to talk right, about. I got you. 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 Yeah. What's a piece of content that you love to put hey, out yo, that you haven't yet? When you like wake and, up and, and shit. What's hey, not why you what went, DC why you sounds went, like? You, now hold on one second. You heard this. Why'd you go? What he thinks of you? That's what he thinks of you. Why'd you go fool? Let that be known. I thought it was funny. Fucking double. And sometimes it's racist. But um, you went okay. You went. I'm gonna have her cut it out. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. You went full Julio Diaz right there. It's totally good. Like like. Would you want to be in? in Chill, is that a little man. shot fired? No, I love Julio. Chill, man. Is it, yeah, I love Julio <laughs> too. I love Julio too. Even though he saw it, he he canceled on my show because he had a family emergency. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. He saw one forty fifth. All right, right. Guys, guys, yeah, all someone right, didn't bring tamales to the barbecue. One day it's gonna, get, it's gonna get leaked. That they're like, hey guys, um, don't really watch Don't Have Been Dying, but skip to like the hour mark. Those hour between the hour and the hour fifteen, they be talking some shit. <laughs> <laughs> they be talking some shit. Um, no, no. For real, what's something you want in your career right now that you want to manifest? Say it and in Spanish. Hijo de gran puta, yo te voy a decir algo ahora. Oh, yeah, I get that. That's the first time we ever heard Kevin speak Spanish. I know Kevin's Spanish. Y'all didn't what? know this? I know he's Spanish, but he, Kevin acts like he can't speak way, it. That Kevin was just, that was just Louis his, Spanish. That was, Kevin's from the block, his, bro. That, like, was, that was just his breakfast he order. He should be at like, Yo quiero. You never seen Kev turn on a nigga, have you? Nah. I feel like Kev can turn on somebody real quick. The funniest thing I seen was Kev telling me. like if someone came here causing problems, you'd First, I'm like, hey, what's no, no, up? No. Kev, oh, yeah. Kev was having up. like an existential crisis or like anxiety, bro, at the producers club. And this one guy was so weird about it, right? He was just kept trying to talk to Kev and try to give him feedback on his jokes, which no one asked him for because he's who is he? You know what I mean? And Kev is just he's talking. Kev's like, bro, 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 bro. Can you just walk away, bro? <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Can you Kevin's just fuck? dangerous, like, bro? Please just get away from me. I would never fuck with Kevin, like, cause he's too bro. nice and kind. That's all and I know he's though. dangerous. Yeah, he's but I don't like. You know those people who don't know when weapon. they're being annoying though, and they can't read it at all. Bro, they couldn't read it. Bro, bro he's he a weapon it, of mass it was bad, bro. I tell you, the moment you switch, I'll be like, I'm out. I'm, <laughs> I'm scared. It's crazy. Yo, I only want to be I'm kind out. though. I only want to be kind. I know, bro. I own it because, like, honestly, and I hate when I'm mean, bro. When I'm mean, I hate myself. I feel like you're mean. I don't like it at all. You know why it, it affects like it, on. Yeah. I don't it affects like it. people I love in comedy it differently. Like everyone doesn't know how to deal with it. Well, people you know are just starting to call me an asshole. People Fuck are like, yeah, oh, people think you're an asshole. Yeah, now. people do. A lot of kids come from soft backgrounds, bro. But like, all the people I like, people think are assholes. Though. Exactly. That's Real the thing. Shit. There's a lot of soft people here, and I'm too, like, too soft. That's they, what they don't recognize soft. the street in you, and they get comfortable. So they get too comfortable, right. and I'm like, oh. Sh I, I know I can sense it, bro. That's why I fuck with you. So like, I, I try because I don't want to. I'm not a thug by any means. I'm not a hood dude no more. Like I just want to. You be, heard the. You heard the no more. You, you heard the, the no more. I just, just a public school kid, bro. I, I just want to do is. stand up. I'm just I'm, 27, Kev. I'm, <laughs> nah, I'm 30, Kev. About to be 31, Kev, and it's getting spooky for me. Yeah, I spooky. feel you, bro. By it's the way, by spooky. the way, the way he said By the way, I feel you, bro. It is so funny so because you heard that for a fist hit his face. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it's really spooky for you, bro. Yo, oh, no. Can you imagine like waking up? Shit so about to get dark for niggas. Just a big meaty fist. Shit about to get dark for niggas. Yo, New York niggas are funny, bro. Yo, can you imagine having a bro? Broken nose, scrambling, and you just hear, buddy, 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 buddy. It's about to get real spooky. Spooky. Buddy, honestly, can I tell you something? That's how he said it. 
<laughs> That's all he says. <laughs> Alice, can I tell you something? <laughs> yeah, can we go, let's go talk off front real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but and also got, Kevin's such a nice guy. They're like, I'm about to get advice. <laughs> the shit that Kevin tells me, like he, like we'll be out somewhere and he'll be like, yeah, but I have to pull this dude aside and say X, Y, Z. I was That's like, what when did that happen? He's like, you didn't see me. I was, I was like, what? He was like, yeah, hands are real calm. <laughs> yeah, Yo, like, when I knew that uh, Kevin, how I know Kevin is starting to become more of an asshole because like, damn, about, I don't want to. No, 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 listen. In a good way, I think. And I want him to be. I've been pushing him to be this. Like six months ago, Kevin every once in a while would be like, yo, bro, I'll be defending you out here in these streets. You know, you know, people, yeah, you people, think people think just him? People think, you know, you're an <laughs> asshole. Just him Me too. too. I was the first friend, yeah. bro. They no, said, no, no, don't I do this. Say, Dylan, that <laughs> podcast? No. <laughs> I know they hate you, but Dylan, come on. <laughs> The last six months, I haven't heard him say it once. I think I, I think I think those people have also started being like, "Yo, Kev, yeah, those guys are assholes." Dude. <laughs> I'm glad you think that. <laughs> Yo, success breeds. Oh, what is a rich dad, dad, poor dad? Yeah. Fucking quote. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where 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 are, you, where are you from? I'm from here, Harlem. East oh Harlem. yeah. See, speaking of East Harlem, got a new comedy club. And it's a black owned comedy club. I think motherfuckers should go comedy check it out. Comedy in Harlem. Comedy in Harlem. Yeah, yeah. Comedy in Harlem. Smoky September Swars, every Monday. Smoky Swars. Oh, is he there? Name no, a cat on Tuesday. That's not it. Smoky's on Monday. On, is, in East Harlem? You're talking about comedy in Harlem, right? Comedy in Harlem. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Guys, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Yo, this is Dope Up and Dine, the Sunday morning smoke, smoke show. show. Thank you, Maso, for coming through. Thank you, Thank Jenna, you for being me. a great host. Thank you, TC, for also being a great host. Yeah, I'm on. And I'm Papa Sanchez. Thank you for the wine. Uh, uh, Let's go. We out. Guys, thank you for watching the last episode. Please like and subscribe, follow. And make sure to go to the new YouTube page, Dope Up Podcast on YouTube. We'll give that a follow. We're pushing all the episodes to the Dope Up YouTube page now. So all the new episodes will be up there. Guys, thank you for watching. Hit the bell.